Shout out to Coppish. Shout out to Coppish, up, guys. The, good work the two up. legends, Emil Heskey, Howard, Howard Gell. Can't get much better than that, guys. Yeah. You know what to do now. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm with legends, guys. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>Good evening, lovely people. Hope you're well. Back to welcome back, should I say, to another Monday night live show. We are Team Coppish. As always, when we get behind the mic, please make sure you subscribe, comment, and like. After a fantastic result of the weekend, Liverpool are back. Some more news regarding Xabi Alonso and Ruben Amarim. Two players have been linked to Liverpool, two big names. And also, we're going to be discussing, is this the most exciting Premier League title race of all time? Boys, massive win at the weekend. We celebrated as we should have. Not a great performance, but the three points is what really mattered. And Darwin did what Darwin does or has been doing of late. How are we feeling, boys? Um, still, I'm happy. Still we happy won, innit? I'm not gonna lie. I, the mood needs to perk up, you. I know why your your mood is like this, and you said it's actually winding me up. We need to perk up, you, man. Like, no, no, no. All right, let me put it in. No, all right, no, let me say no, this. The buzzers, but Matt's happy though. Gone off a little bit because I've rinsed all the bits of Liverpool material that I can. So, like, obviously, you can only be high for so long. Do you know what I mean? So, I don't know. Speak for yourself. Obviously, well, you know what it is though. It's it's one game at a time. So don't get me wrong. Man was gassed Saturday, gassed, but then. Now, sort of like focus now, the next game now, isn't it? That was Saturday. Like, got to put that to one side now. Like, we go again. Mm. So, yeah. Fair do. Go again Fair still. Drift, mm. how are you feeling? I feel good, bro. I feel good. But like yeah, I said, yeah, I've absorbed yeah, yeah. every bit of Liverpool content that I can. That I, and then there's only so much more I can get hyped up, if you get what I mean. So, like, I'm good, bro. I'm very, very good. But, yeah, you know, the buzz has worn off a little bit. Why is I, the buzz I, I, I've watched everything. Like, I've watched everything. Like, I've rinsed all the Liverpool stuff you can think of. So, yeah. But I'm good, man. I feel good. Right. Should we start with the Chabi Alonso stuff? Because I think that's important. Let's it's go. Important place to start. Let's go. So, Big up everyone out in the building. But say, I, 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 I know we're going to have to say this during the show, but guys, the importance of the like button, if ever has been proven, is by our yeah. last show. When you mm. see the amount of likes that you guys gave us and then the amount of views that we got. And even some people saying, oh, wow, they discovered us as a new channel. Please smash that like button, guys. A thousand likes for every show is the, is the barometer now moving forward, people. So we know you love us. Don't forget to smash that like button. Cool sake, I've got. No, I don't apologize for that, bro. Do I just don't think people understand how important the like button is. They think we just yeah. say it for like, just for like a thing to say because it's like a YouTuber mm. thing to say or whatever. But like, no, it really bro, like, important. can't stress it enough. The amount that it actually helps the channel grow because what it does is it, exposure for some people that might not have recognized his channel, seen his channel. It helps us grow. Do you get what I'm saying? And you know what I mean? Mean means that we can make more content for do you know what I mean? So trust me, people, just smash that like button. Love for the love as always. I know you've been rocking with us for a minute, <laughs> but for those that haven't, smash the like button. It really does help the channel. Uh Drift, you said you've consumed all the Liverpool content possible. What about this? You seen this? Oh, of course, of course, of course. <laughs> I had that one in the back pocket just in yeah. case I needed to that bring it up. That might be out. my screens. That might be my laptop screen. <laughs> I saw that one still. Yeah. Uh, that might be my. Oh hey, my god! Oh, we oh, you know. know. Right, let's talk about Chabi Alonso, boys, because um, rumor has it that he has a release clause after signing a new contract last summer of around twenty-six million pounds. Now, again, Ruben Amarim apparently has a release clause around a 30 mil mark. Now, I know hearing these figures are going to be like, oh, my goodness, it's so much for a manager. But if we said we're buying a player that we all really want for 26 mil or 30 mil, a la McAllister, would we be complaining? So why is there so much trepidation regarding the manager's release clause if the manager is the one who's going to galvanise the team effectively now i know with um klopp and ancelotti when we had a chance to get ancelotti and we ended up getting klopp we got them we didn't have to pay any 
uh, compensation. If I'm not mistaken, we played a decent amount of compensation for Brendan Rodgers. But why the, why the trepidation? I mean, every manager who's not assigned to a club you'd have to pay a release clause for, why are we, why are we so up in arms about this? I, I didn't even know everybody was up in arms to be not honest. everyone. There are some people saying that's high and should be paid at and yeah, it is high though. It is high, but for uh, for a manager, that's exceptionally high. Like thinking why, why is it so different for a manager in your opinion? Because again, Drew, let's say for example, I'm trying to think of a player that you really, really like. Give me a player who's who you like, Drift, who's obviously not like an Mbappe level, but a, a very good player. Uh, Rafael Leal. Ra- uh, no, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be the most expensive player. Obviously, you, 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 you said, said not about Mbappe, him and Vinny Jr. are the like... most expensive left wingers in my football. <laughs> Man, pick one of the them. most expensive alternative, brother. All right, Matt, shall we play this game? You're <laughs> <laughs> in Harrods again, bro. No, nah, for real. Look, no, but I, I'm, all right, let me say, um, Neto for Neto, then. Yeah, all right, let's say it's Pedro Neto, boys. Mm. And I said to you, in the summer, we can get Pedro Neto for 30 mil. Boys, we we are over the moon with that, right? Yeah, it, it's easier with players, though, Cal, because e- players are easier to move on. You can get a, a you can get a resale value on a player, even if he hasn't done that well. And then on top of that, I think it's easier for a player to be successful at a club than it is for a manager. Management's the hardest thing in football. Let's keep it a buck, like it is, like. To be a successful manager is the hardest thing in football. So you're taking a huge risk to pay that much money for a manager. And you can't just shot him to another club like we did Andy Carroll yeah. if it don't work out. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, we paid 35 mil for Carroll, but we got West Ham to give us 20 odd mil. So we kind of got yeah. a lot of our money back. Do you know what I mean? Or like that. Bro, yeah, so yeah. Like, with a it's... manager. That's it, bro. You just mm. you just sack him. You have to pay him. <laughs> Remember, if you sack him, you gotta pay him, bro. I know. So God and knows how much money star, that will cost. Long. And all like, that. Yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Twenty six mil for a manager is a lot of money. It is a it lot is. of money. It is. I'm not gonna lie. It is. In here's the thing. In like with players and stuff like players, like there's there's market value and there's resale value. Mm. You don't get that with managers. You don't get that with sporting directors. You don't get that with agents. Can I hold you one sec, Matt? Separate... Sorry, one sec. Yeah. How many players have we sold recently? Yeah, but yeah, generally but that's speaking, that's beside the point. That's because we just been no, bored. no. Hear me out. Hear me out. We've been bored. Hear me. No, not necessarily. Hear me out. Genie Wijnaldum. Would we all agree we got full money's worth for, for Genie Wijnaldum, right? Yeah. What? Well, player. Yeah, yeah. Bobby hmm. Firmino again. Say we've yeah. got full money's worth. Yeah, Matip, yeah. I'd also say we've got a full money's worth. T- Tiago, we haven't, admittedly. No, I think we have. No, we only paid 20 mil for him. The... I think we got no. 20 mil worth out of him. But we didn't get what, we, we, didn't get what we wanted out of him, but we got 20 mil out of him. But it don't make it right, though. So even though these players have been let go for free, yeah, in my opinion, they don't make it right. Because we've all sat here in arms, in it, and gone, no, mm. why are we letting my man walk away for free? We didn't even get a fee. So, like, I get what Cal's saying about, like, as a selling club, like, we've been poorly. But at the same time, that's, that's just happens to be as of late or as of the last, like, 18 months. Because really and truly, we kind of set the standards for um, selling players that weren't necessarily the greatest and getting high fees. And what Cal's saying is, I agree, but it doesn't make it right. Liverpool don't want to make that same mistake again. And that's what I'm saying, like, for managers, agents, <laughs> um... Sporting directors, there's no resale value, market value. Well, there, yeah, so yeah, it's different. Like with a player, you got market value, resale. With with those managers, sporting directors, and agents, you pay, and that's it. You might as well call it dead money. And that's why you will never see mm. in in hindsight like a lot of managers go for those type of prices because it's dead money. In, in a weird way, I know people will look at it, but how can it be dead money? Because if you if that manager wins you trophies, you make money back and whatever and achievements. That is very true. But on the initial outlay, the initial outlay, that's dead money. It's money you just, you, you flung it away. You ain't getting that back. Isn't that like most things in life, though, boys? That are worth buying. 
No, nah, but you're a sensible guy, Cal. That's the reason you're not going showroom or buying a Porsche. It's not because you don't want one. <laughs> Every time it's you because say the word you know. now, it boils my blood because of that. <laughs> <laughs> but it's true, though, bruv. That's why you ain't going showroom to buy a Porsche. It's not because you don't want one. It's because you're sensible. And you know Dude, straight I away you lose... a Porsche, bruv. You know straight away you lose <laughs> half the market value on it. And then after that, it's depreciating the whole time, no matter how you cool you look driving analogy. around with it. For the first time in the history of copies, you've used the wrong analogy, bro. I wouldn't go into Porsche because I can't afford it, bro. Do you know how stupid all right. I look? All right, all right. Audi, Audi then. then. The reason why you haven't gone into Audi, you can afford an Audi, but you haven't done it because... You must have a different perspective of what... <laughs> 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 I'm going to say, man's, man's, man's Audi, perspective bro, is different. Like. <laughs> look, it... it, 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 it you drive off the lot, you've already lost a third of the value and then it depreciates every day you drive it after that. A manager is very similar in regards to you get no money back and if anything, you'll probably end up spending more because if you sack him, which is what happens to 80% of managers, I think a lot of people forget that as well, 80% of managers within their first three years are sacked. Like So then you got to pay him out and you spent all that money to get him. So all I'm saying is, I think that's why people think it's a lot. Because that's a fair that, point, dude. you know what yeah. I mean? That the wages you're gonna have to pay him, paying to get him in, and then if it's not successful, paying to get rid of him, all of that is like part of it. And just quickly for the people who were saying that, come on, um, Jeff, Tiago wasn't at success. Hundred percent, Tiago wasn't at success. But you're 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 conflicting what I said. Twenty million pound for Tiago. We got twenty million pound worth out of the player because the amount of times that he helped us and what he did in the times he's done, he helped us to get top four, and he was brilliant in the running. And then the year we were chasing the quad, he was our best midfielder and he had some outstanding performances. That's twenty million pound worth of midfielder. Casado went for one hundred and fifteen million. Do you know how expensive it is to buy quality midfielders these days? So is he a flop based on his talent? Yes, but for twenty mil, we got out of Thiago. What 20 more gets you these days? Two successful seasons where he contributed. So, anyway, yeah. No, I wasn't laughing. I was laughing at Sean's comment, which is <laughs> very funny still. <clears throat> um, me personally, and again, I'm speaking as someone who hasn't got this sort of money and it's not my money, so I can easily talk about it. 25 mil for Alonso, I'm, I'm doing it. 30 mil for Ruben Amarim, I'm doing it. Because the money you could end up saving by having a great manager with not having to spend that money on having to buy amazing players because you're having to make up for the deficiencies of the manager, for me, is worth his weight in gold. Like, Is it a guarantee, though, Cal? I, was, I slightly I, disagree I, with what you wait, said. Wait, wait, wait. Sorry, it's really sorry to cut you again, Matt. If we sign Rafael Leal, bro, it's not a guarantee whether he's going to do well either, though. No, no, it's true. But as me and Matt have said, you can shut him off and you might get 20 more less than you pay, oh. but you're still going to get money back for him. He's a young player who's potentially around the world still going to be wanted after two bad years by a team in Portugal or Italy or somewhere right, like well, that. You well, let's I mean? say we spent 100 mil on Rafael Leal, bro, and he had two bad seasons. The most oh. we'd recoup from is maybe 30 mil. No, no, not at his age. Hold on, how much, no, 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 no. How much would we pay for Leal, roughly? I reckon, isn't his release clause around 100 mil or something like that? No, 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 no. No, more like 180, fam. 100? His release, his release clause is 180. Yeah, about that, fam. As in yeah. what? Like 180. Yeah, it's yeah. Like that much, bro. No, forget that. Bro, i tell you why. Yeah, but at, at his age, we still get 50 mil back if we spent 100. Of course. We would, that. bro, because he's right. still a top talent and he's still right, young. Right. Quick I'm question, checking. quick question. Oh, no. How much did no. Kai Havertz go to Arsenal for? <laughs> well, there you go. That's money laundering, though. Regardless. No, but, how, right. much is Je right. how much was Jesus? Jesus was about 40 mil, I think. They how made much profit was... on Jesus. How much, was, how made a profit on how Jesus. much was Sterling to... To Chelsea about 40 mil, 50. No, it was no 50. about 50. It was 50. They literally got back what they paid five years later. All right, check it, though. That's mm. all right. So we'll use the example of Leao and Havertz. Yeah. Havertz cost Chelsea, what, like 90 mil or something like that? No. No, no, 77 mil. 75 paid. or something. I'm not going to use a Havertz example because that, that, to me, is money laundering at its finest. But let's say if Rafael Leao comes for 100 mil in an ideal yeah. world and we sell him for 50 mil in two years, that's more expensive than getting a manager for 30 mil and then having to sack him. 
No, but that's how football is. But like that's like, literally like, how still like, cheap pay 25 mil for a manager isn't yes, is. a regular thing, bro. Has no, that even ever been done before? I don't no, think but, anyone's no, ever forget, paid. Forget that about much. whether it's been done or not, just in terms of mathematics, it's cheaper to get the manager. But, but it's harder always, for the manager to be successful, Cal. But it's Way always harder. cheaper it's, to get the no, manager. It's 50 50 with the manager, and it's 50 no. 50 with the player, bro. No, but Johnny no, is there, bro. bro. Come it's on, we've got to be honest. To get 80% of managers fail, bro. Like, literally, yeah. 80% of managers. All right, but fail. how many managers are coming into the situation that is at Liverpool? Where you've got brilliant trailing facilities, brilliant ground, brilliant fan base, brilliant players. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, it looks like it would be successful, bro. But Javi Alonso's three years into his managerial career, and Liverpool is top five hardest clubs to be manager of in the world. It is still a massive jump up from Leverkusen. Like it's a like, huge jump up from. Oh Leverkusen. yeah, it's it's, it's completely. Like, like they're not even in the same stratosphere. Do you know what I mean? Like, with all due respect, it was a huge jump up for Klopp from Dortmund as well. Like any club that it, no, the, from... I would say no 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 it is it is but Klopp had already would, been there bro Champions League but final, Klopp kind of showed his credentials like no, not over oh, no, one no, season not and, Klopp and, and we were way yeah, down here when he came in Javi yeah, Alonso's was, coming in while we we're up here so uh, Klopp, Klopp kind of had Klopp, money Klopp, to Klopp, play with Klopp also finished on a downer at Dortmund as well yeah That's but the majority of it of his Bayern Munich Bayern uh Bayern Dortmund's success was already was, do you know what I mean? It was already there. Like it, the proof was in the pudding. It was there. No, he but my, stopped my, by a minute. No, but he stopped buying twice. No, I and in Champions my, my League, didn't he get to the final? Yeah, yeah, yeah and lost in the final. Very. That's what I'm saying, Robin, bro. Robin I'll, I'll only two by a minute. This is bro, no, no, I hear, I hear what you're saying, bro. No, I hear what you're saying, but you're saying it's a 50-50 chance. Mm. I'm saying it was just as much of a 50-50 chance with Klopp because when he left Dortmund, he wasn't at his peak with Dortmund. He left Dortmund in in pretty much a little bit of a bad way, so it could have at the time. At the time, you could have argued it was a fifty. Yeah, it was Do you know, I saw it as the Van Dyke thing. I said he'll be back. He'll be back. No, no but, he, he, every year he's losing his best player, Cal. Like you no, know, what no, I mean, like, that was a totally regardless. Though, did did we or did we sit there and go? It's a 50-50 that Klopp's going to do well at Liverpool. No, no, I no, did, I knew. No, I didn't. No, is that exactly my point? Why? Because yeah. we trusted his ability, right? All right, yeah, yeah. All right, no, so it's way more proven, Wait, Wait, But we've got way less way to go proven. off oh, evidence. All right, so if we're talking about Alonso not being proven, why do we want him so much then? No, we want Alonso the best because out of what there. he means to Liverpool he's not the and best what he's doing there. right he, now. He's not the best right now. No, no, he's the best that we can get. He is the best that we can get. We gotta be honest. Like, there's not much out there. Like, we can't get is. Ancelotti. We can't get Pep Guardiola. And if I'm being honest with you, world class managers don't really exist anymore. Like, there's not many of them. His profile fits Liverpool. Hear this now. <clears throat> he used to play for Liverpool, playing with a team that's an underdog in the league, potentially winning the league with an underdog. Not really having a, a large spending budget, it goes into that whole euphoria and Liverpool flipping love story thing. Of it kind of goes hand in hand because he's almost overachieving with what he has. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Bayern right, so Munich what, should be I, winning I that. So, so what? That, it, 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 but so what I'm saying is, is that yes, we want Alonso. He fits the narrative. He fits the story. Right for us. But obviously, we know there's better managers out there. But just kind of got a point as well. It's what's available. And it just happens to be that Alonso being available and what he can offer and what he's done and what he's done previously for Liverpool, it makes sense. That's why with Liverpool won Alonso. All right. I'm going to switch it to you boys again. Matt, fully agree with everything you said. In the summer, when I was in the conservatory, just my boxers and the t-shirt on because the news came through about Caicedo. <laughs> <laughs> that was 115 mil. Hey, Bro, hey. as God be my witness, if I can remember well, and I think I've got a pretty good memory, no one in the chat said, oh my, I don't want a Caicedo for 115 mil. Caicedo played in the Premier League for a year and a half, if I'm not mistaken. Mm. Had never played Champions League football. Hadn't won anything and was young in his career. He was he was considered to be the best available left. 115 mil hmm. to 25 mil. 
Caicedo's one injury away from us going, we spent 150 mil, we can't even get him on the pitch. Chabu Alonso gets injured, like Klopp did when he pulled his hammy, <laughs> he's still on the bench to coach the team. Boys, why are we so upset about having to pay a high release? Oh, for I, 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 no, we're not what? upset. If we what? if what? we do it, now Matt, I think I can speak for you on this. If we do it, we're not going to be annoyed or anything. No. Like so why that. are we even questioning it then? Because it is a lot of money. No, we're just saying it's a lot of money from. No, we got no problem with it. No, it is a lot of money for a manager. But we ain't got. If we do it, yeah. If we do it, it is what it is, bro. It's calm if we do it, but we can't look back and go. I see when we got Alonso. Oh, that money was cheap, you know. We look back and go, oh, we paid that. We we had to pay out. We, to get we, we paid the most money ever paid for a manager. Like it's one of them ones. It's the most drift. Chelsea have done something. I've match. never, I've Chelsea never ever football. heard anyone pay Listen, more than eighteen Chelsea football mil. Football club, bro. <laughs> this is Eight, no, eighteen mil was the most I've ever heard. Past thingy that oh that, that any team gosh. has had to pay for a manager. I've never heard it. I've never heard more than that, bro. So this is nearly awesome. ten mil more than the most that's ever been paid because it's twenty six, right? So twenty five, twenty six, apparently, yeah. But yeah. I'm, be, I'm pretty sure Chelsea have spent around that amount, if not more. Probably over the last how many years they have racked up that manager. Not, not, um, not community, c- cumulatively. I mean, on, on one, it might have been Potter. It could have been someone in the past. I reckon Chelsea have done it. It's yeah. Chelsea we're talking about you lot. They don't check price tags. They just take you to the till and they go, oh, just throw it on the credit card. I'm I'll trying to fit. No, no, no. But 26 is still a lot of money, though. It's, it is. Mm. And listen, me and Jeff said we've got no problem with it. We're just saying, if if someone had to, like, if you wrote down how much managers go for, Alonso will be near the top. Like, just, just say, putting it plainly is that. He'll be near the top. He won't be near the bottom. That's what we're saying. we got a problem with it, but we're saying, because of the, how the manager rating is, we, 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 yeah, he's, he's, he's expensive, but we're, we're willing to pay that because we think he's the right person, isn't it? Yeah, I'll, I'll be we're honest. We're not disagreeing with you. We're not if, disagreeing. If, if Liverpool even consider going, ah, oh, 25 mil for match, I'm going to flip out because Bayern Munich and Real Madrid are sitting there going, ah, oh, 25 mil. Cool. Yeah, they're circling. Bayern Munich are circling right now. And that's perfect segue, Matt. Bayern Munich have. have Room and I say rumors, <clears throat> rumored to have started talks with Chabi Alonso. Uh, is this a concern to you guys, Matt? I'll start with you since you 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 just delivered the segue. It is a concern. You want to know why? Because nothing's a guarantee. I know we are Liverpool and we are still and we will always be one of the best clubs in the world. But we also can't shy away from the fact that Bayern Munich are also another top team in the world. Alonso has played for them. So it's that emotional attachment that he has with them. He might look at that and go, that's another step in my career where, yes, I've done the (laughs) underdog thing. Now it's time to go for the Champions League with Bayern. Bayern already set up. They ain't got to get a new sporting director. All their, like, hierarchies in place. Whereas at Liverpool, he might go, I'm I'm, going to be the manager, but they ain't even got a sporting director yet. Like, who's leading the charge? The owners are in... In Boston, I still hope that Alonso will just look at it on face value and go, I'm Liverpool through and through. Because if he doesn't, I'll be honest with you, I think he may go in Madrid. But that's if he doesn't look for it through a Liverpool lens. If he looks for it through a Liverpool lens, I think we'll get Alonso. If he doesn't, I think we could be in a bit of trouble. Because let's be honest, it's by a minute. This ain't flipping Reading or... Do you know what I mean? Like, this is Bayern Munich, one of the arguably top five teams in the world. They sit Not at arguably, that table. Yeah, they sit at that table. And Xabi Alonso, even though he would have he would have beat Bayern Munich, he would have been like, I've just beaten you. Do you know what I'm gonna do now? All right, I'm gonna show you what you I can do for a Bayern Munich team. I'm gonna go win that freaking Champions League. And he's an he's an he's a young, ambitious manager. Could you imagine someone winning the league? with a lesser team, then going to, a, obviously, to a bigger team and then winning the Champions League. His credentials will go through the roof. Then he'll be thinking, hold on a minute, I've just done that. What's next? Is it Liverpool? Is it Real Madrid? Is it is it Spain? Like, Alonso will be, Alonso will be going crazy. So, I'm a bit like, worried, I'll be honest with you. I'll, 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 be, I'll right. be honest with you, though, bro. If hmm. you look at the two squads at the moment, yeah, first 11, yeah. 
if he don't was able to, if he was able it, to retain Rich. all of his players during the summer, don't he's got a better it. chance of winning the Champions League with Leverkusen than he does Bayern Munich. Oh no, no. If oh, Timmy, no, no. if Timmy's I, I, I there, think, you're right. I think if Leverkusen's there. first eleven is better than Bayern Munich's first eleven. No, do, nah. do you know how? No, I, I, I think that Bayern Munich team at the moment it's got a few Harry Kane's stars, better than like all their Kim forwards Kane, put together. Then you got Musiala. Like, then you've got Kimmich. Then you've got yeah, Goretzka. Then Kimmich you've got, won't um, be there. Kimmich is leaving. No, but you just said no, if they no. both keep their team, if they keep both yeah, keep if you keep team. their team the same. No, no, I said if Leverkusen, if he was able to keep everyone there, because I think they're going to get raided in the summer. But if he was able to keep mm. everybody there, I think the fact that he's already there, he already knows what he's doing. They already understand where he's coming from, and then he gets to add to that now. Mm. I think he'd have a better chance of winning the Champions League with them than Bayern Munich. But it's the manager mm. that's got them playing like us. far, yeah. bro. Thank you. But Let's the guy you've up. told us about, you told us about him, Drew. Timmy! That guy, bro. <laughs> yeah. You that told guy. us about him, Drew. Look, Come I'm on, bro. Just... Who, who really bro, the thrives manager... on the Tommy, bro? bro can, I, can I put it to perspective? The manager went and bought I'm, Eric Dyer. No, no, no. Just... Drift, drift. Let that land for a second. The manager... <laughs> Looked around the world, scoured the globe, and said, I need a center back. I'm gonna go to Spurs, I'm gonna go and get Eric freaking Dyer. Yeah, let that no, let no, that no, bro. Out. No, no, no. I totally, I totally get that. Timmy Turner is the reason he should why be not studying, fam. Is he on crack? <laughs> no, no, bro. No, bro. Eric Dyer. No, don't get no, me wrong. No, sorry, Jeff. I've got no, I've got I you. I hold on, hold on. Big no, up expressions, big up expressions. No, expressions will be the first person to tell you. Break it down again for him, Matt, please. Bro, big up expressions all day, every day. <laughs> he would be the first person to tell you Eric Dyer is playing. Like, bro, they've been wanting to get Eric Dyer for like the last four to five years. That's the equivalent of, of by minute going and getting, um, who's that main aid? Um, Phil Jones got, before he retired. Before, I don't know if he's retired. I just don't think they just don't pick him. I think he's still in the books. Imagine you know how crazy if that is. We bro. went in the summer and we bought Johnny Evans, bro. That's mad, bro. You're how Bayern do you Munich. Feel about no, no, I no, I get no, I get that. But you know why they had no, but did. you actually know why they had to do it? Because apparently FFP, it was all they could do. Then you'd they rather drift. go without them, bro. So, so no, so what without. I'm saying is that ain't even like if he went there, Bayern Munich would be giving him no. some war chest no. and being like, yo, go and do whatever you want. He would be within a budget, even though they he's are Bayern, Bayern Munich. Munich. If they really wanted to, they could do you know if they, they could go and even go and get set Vandenberg. They could go and call us, even oh, though we yeah. don't want to sell him. They could have, but they could have probably got Kwanzaa at that time. Well, a lot, a lot, a lot of people are saying that Kane actually asked if they could bring in somebody to help him while he's settling. So who's that, so that, more of a fool a then? No, no, but what I'm saying is, guys, <laughs> at, the end of, at the end of the day, I'm saying Come the Bayern Munich team is good. Of course, the Bayern Munich team is good. But I believe that Bayer yeah. Leverkusen, already a year and a half into knowing how to play under Alonso, mm. and he gets to add to that, would give him more chance of being successful next year than starting all over again at Bayern. That does have some very questionable players in there. Just quickly, it just does. quickly. But I'm going to leave with this. I'm going to leave with this. I'm going to leave with this. No, yeah, remember, they're, my... remember they're losing Alfonso? You lot have already said this. Le, le, no, 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 not Kimmich yet. Kimmich is not, probably no, leaving. But he's still there. Like, let me land. Like, you know what I mean? No, but like, these are the players. On. No, no, but these players want to leave because... They're not happy with Tuchel, bro. Hear what I'm saying now. These are players that have at their disposal. At their disposal. Mm. Um, Neuer, still one of the best goalkeepers in the world. Can't tell me different, yeah? Yeah, but he's Davis, you know. We have to accept No, bro. Neuer is still one of the long. best yeah, goalkeepers the in the world, bro. in my opinion. He's yeah, yeah, but I mean, he's, he, how, how much longer can five. he keep going, though? Like... No, but bro, goalkeeper's a bit different. But anyway, Manu Neuer, Alfonso Davis, yeah? Kim Min Jae, yeah? They've got Davis delay and leaving. they've got... Yeah, Kim, um, Delic wants to leave because he's not happy. He literally said he's not happy, right? Um, even Makana, I've already said he's he, he's a, yeah, he's not. He's not. He's not. He's not that. He's not it. Yeah, but you go to midfield. Yeah, you got Musiala. Yeah, mm. you got um um Goretzka, and you got Kimmich. He's You've not even got anymore. Comrade Lima. Kimmich is leaving. No, but hear what I'm saying, though, Jeff. These players are underperforming for the manager. These players are are better than what they are showing. Yeah, no, but a lot of yeah, them want on... out now. They've 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 rinsed it. They've won everything. Like, and they want to go Bro, and have a new. If challenge. another manager was not too sure, I guarantee you. I hate to say it, and as much as I rate Alonso. Bayern Munich are doing way better than what they're doing now, bro. They're not responding. No, no, to that's facts, bro. That's facts. But I'm telling you, if you actually go first eleven for first eleven. Other than the star players that Bayern have, which is Musiala, but they've got loads Kane, of stars. Kim, Davis, 
Sane, I think, I think, I think, I think Leverkusen actually have a better eleven at the moment. Matthias because it ain't L, just the about the Mark. name; it's about the way you're performing. It's about you know what I mean. It ain't just about your name. No, all right, so but that's what I'm saying, Drift. If you swapped Alonso and Tuchel around right now, bro, Leverkusen aren't even finishing top of top ten. In Facts. The that's league. what I'm trying to yeah, tell yeah, you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because so because that's, that's, Alonso that's, was a big part. But of that's what he said. That's what, what we're saying. That's, yeah, that's I think that's what Matt's getting mm. at. Like in terms of how they're implementing the style and playing, the Leverkusen boys are doing phenomenal. Like the the proofs in the pudding. Yeah, but you'd like to think with a higher caliber of player, Alonso would do even better. But too short is just too short, bro. Like he no, won the Champions I, I, League I being that. the most I pragmatic we've ever seen, probably. Facts. No, I know. And and I again, know. can't take it away from because he won the Champions League. Just like can't take away the Champions League from Di Matteo. But the two most pragmatic runs to win in the Champions League were probably those two, and there was a lot yeah, of luck yeah. afforded in those runs. With all due respect to them, so. Tuchel is just, he's just a terrible manager. And and you know what? It's not even just Tuchel, you know. Remember, Bayern Munich structure ain't exactly... Like, remember, they got rid of Nagelsmann for no reason. There has I, been a bit of unrest within their... Like, they, they're they not exactly, like, no, the most happy... Nagelsmann had places, problems you know? with the... Play, the basis so Nagelsmann... No, the no, players right. like Nagelsmann. No, right, no, no, Matt. apparently. The players right, like Matt. Nagelsmann, Matt. It was nothing right. to do with the no, players. No, apparently the no, players he... didn't, bro. No, two so people here this... got sacked. I think Oliver Kahn and someone else got sacked. So, after they so sacked with Nagelsmann, Nagelsmann, the Bayern Munich, apparently, hierarchy never liked... They felt he was too kiddy in terms of, like... Apparently, he used to turn up to work on a... On a sk- on a skateboard or something. <laughs> that part, That's crazy. I can't that even lie. Really. No, no, but what's that got to do with his... No, 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 no. Don't get rid of man for that. That is foolish. No, but certain bro. players were saying he, he wasn't mature enough, where some players like he was 36 him. years old. This is what I was saying. What, I was saying he was their bridge When I was saying, I don't think he would be old enough to be Liverpool manager. It, Nagelsmann. I, I, like, he's too young to be... No, but I think Nagelsmann... I'd rather Nagelsmann over a two-shot all day every day, you know? Oh, of course. It's, that's not even a debate oh, oh, for of me. Of course, yeah, yeah. That's but come on, let's be honest. If man's coming on a skateboard, it's proving my point. He's too young to be a manager of a high level club at that time. Yes, man, foot was mighty McFly. I mean, I don't you think it's got saying? anything to do with what you do as a manager, but I think it does show where your head is at that you're still young enough to skateboard to work. Like you got deep. That. No, <laughs> you've actually course, got a deep course, that, bro. Like course, you're so yeah. young, you can skateboard to work. Yeah, no, nah, mm. you shouldn't be a manager and be young enough to skateboard to work. That's I don't. I think it was to do with at the time the hierarchy mm. of Bayern Munich. They were they were running things, and since then they've gone because mm. they realised they made a mistake with Nagelsmann. So they're actually gone, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, they, I think they did. Yeah. Remember, I, I'll be honest. If I was oh, Alonso's that's agent, so cut you card. That is, if this is true, that is magic. Are you seeing this? That is bad. Oh. Oh, chatty patty. Oh, the, the oh, if he's doing, yeah, he had to go then. He had to go. I'm not gonna lie, it's always the ones you love, in it. It's <laughs> always the ones you love. <laughs> That's crazy. How could she do him like that? Man, no. man said he thought pillow talk was pillow talk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, yeah. I was coming back home from work and just even say, when you put a I ring on it, you have to know it. everything you say. <laughs> just can't, he's just not scoring the goals. It he's might come back and burn up your She's, blood. He's always <laughs> telling me, like, my, my next paycheck, I might even buy a new skateboard. Yeah. <laughs> you know, when you're at family dinner and you've gotten her nerves that morning. Yeah, yeah, it's curtains. Remember everything you told her. Just remember <laughs> everything you told her. I thought you were working at home today. No, no, I'd rather go into the office, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Going into the office? Yeah, yeah, we had a nice little chat last night, didn't we, before you burnt the eggs this morning? You have what? No worry, oh, see you later. Man. See the news. Um, <laughs> if, I, if I'll be honest with you, though, boys, and again, taking... Whoa, what is going on with people in the chat? Behave, people, man. David, behave yourself, bruv. Yeah, nah, you, you, you only get to say that to me once, man. Like, yeah, we do, that's rude, bro. man. I won't even laugh at that. I laugh at that. Like, no, that's just rude. The, them them, 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 them <laughs> thing there, though. What's David it's, doing, bruv? It's, it's, it's better you get blocked than I respond, because I will be rude. But yeah, anyway, What's he go doing? <laughs> what possessed you to tie that in press know, head? Man. Man must have on, give me one come. sec, boys. One second. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Come on, Dave. Have you, um, seen, have you seen Imran's comment? <laughs> No, what did he say? 
And Rosa's comment is just underneath as well. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Imran H. All right, and Imran and Rosa, you lot are sat a mouse. You lot are sat a mouse, you know. <laughs> uh, it's literally just bad. Um, yeah. All right, so I'm going to take all my bias out of it. Obviously, I want Alonso, I want Amaru in, in the summer. One of the two. I'm mm. I'm not massively fussed. If I was Alonso's agent or advisor, yeah, if he's making career moves, in the same way, I think this is what Pep did as well. And I think that's another thing to look at as well, the fact that Pep did this. Going to Bayern Munich for me would be the smarter option than going to Liverpool right now. And I'll explain. Yeah, go on. But I think I know why. But go on, explain. I think I know why, though. Taking over from Klopp. So, boys. Without a structure that has been tried and tested. <clears throat> and the young squad. And the height of expectation is massive. Taking over at Bayern Munich. Mm. When they would have just lost out in the league to Leverkusen, who had never won it before, the person, the team that you delivered the league with, going to buy Munich, one, the expectations for me wouldn't even be as high as they would be at Liverpool. The expectations are easier to meet at Bayern Munich than they are at Liverpool. Managers are remembered for what they win. <clears throat> I hate to say this to you guys. And it breaks my heart to say, and it really annoys me. It's going to mean I have arguments up until the day I die with fans, whether they're my age or younger. Jurgen Klopp is not going to be considered outside of Liverpool as one of the best managers to ever do it, in my opinion. Because people are going to look at his trophy cabinet and go, oh, what, one or two prems? You, you talk about, but we know what he is. We know what he did for us. Yeah, but because right. they're going to look at the mean. stats, yeah. in the same way you get people yeah. now who are football fans, new football fans, who turn around and go, what's it, Dan? He barely got any goals or assists. And you want to strangle them. You want to strangle them because you're like, what are we doing? <laughs> it's such a wind-up. <laughs> Big up, Saeed. Um, Saeed wants Arsenal to win the league. That's why. I know, I know. Big up, Saeed. Saeed, man. I he can't, it, can't, it makes sense, though, isn't it? It's either what Liverpool or, or Man City. Or no, Arsenal. I, 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 I get it. I get it. Yeah, he, he's thinking he's less of the evils because, say, like, yeah, yeah, Arsenal is definitely know. less. I mean, he says that now, but when he starts them. getting ridiculed in the summer, if Arsenal do win it, he's gonna wish. I was he gonna didn't say, he's gonna wish he didn't want it. Uh, big up, Saeed, though. Go and subscribe to Saeed's channel. Um, yeah, no, big up, Saeed. Every big up, Saeed, man. I <clears> think if, if Alonso goes to Bayern Munich and stays there for three years. I think he wins three leagues and possibly a Champions League. And he wins cups as well along the way. If he comes yeah. to Liverpool, it's... there's not even a guarantee he's going to win the Prem once in three years. I know you mean. I agree and, with that. It's and, if, and then not just to mention, he mm. knows he can do three years at Bayern Munich <clears throat> and still go to Liverpool and still go to Real Madrid afterwards. If he does three years at Liverpool and doesn't do well, there's a high chance he doesn't get Bayern Munich and he doesn't get Real Madrid. So if I'm Alonso's advisor <laughs> and I'm not a Liver and I'm not me, I'm just a regular guy who's not a Liverpool fan, I would be advising him to stay at Bayern Munich or to go to Bayern Munich. All right, so so let's bring it back to what EM uh, EMJ said a little while ago. Then Pick up what EMJ. what advantage? Not advantage. Say what motivation is there to go to Bayern Munich to win a league he's already won? In a much Champions more in, in, in a much more like admirable and, and glorified way. Because let's be honest, after you've won it with Leverkusen, any other team you win it with in that league now, that's one of the big teams, Dortmund, Bayern, but any of the teams that's a bigger team than Leverkusen isn't gonna isn't gonna hit as hard. You did it with the team that was arguably like what do they call them? The Spurs of of Germany, where like they always fail at the last hurdle, they don't ever win anything. If you win it with them, what do you get? What I mean, like, it's, so if you went to Tottenham and you won the league, let's say Ange Postecoglou next season wins the league with Tottenham, he probably would go to another league now because he's clocked the Premier League. All no, he can he do didn't. now is fail. If he goes to any of the other clubs, if he if he doesn't win the league, it will be like if you won it with them, 
why didn't you win it with them? Or it'll be like, it won't be as romanticised. It won't be as sought after. It won't look as great. Bayern Munich, as you lot have already said, they, they have to win the league. If Bayern Munich don't win the league, it's an actual failure. So you go into a job where your job is either win or fail. It's not you're all right or you did this or you did that. It's no, you either win the league or you failed. But you've already won that league. Where is the kind of motivation to care about winning that Champions league again with a team? League, where you, that's what I'm but he'll be in the Champions League with Leverkusen. He man. knows. He ain't, yeah, yeah, but he, he knows. Needs, he ain't winning the Champions, Champions League with Leverkusen. League. Leverkusen. Who? Europe's kind of dead at the moment, you know. I'm not gonna Come lie, on, ain't like Europe the new is the format, greatest. Dude. But their squad's yeah. tiny, bro. Yeah, it's yeah, not the if same. He stays, if he stays, then the players might stay. I disagree. Them players, what, you, you think they'll get raided still? Even if I think so. Stay. Yeah, I think so. <clears throat> and then, then what? Right. Then he's got to kind of find. New players are from the youth. Or he's got to bring no. The if, that, if the players leave, then of course it, it, that's it, what I'm it, saying. If the players it, stay. There's a chance that he could do something, but you wouldn't, even if they won the league drift, you wouldn't say like, ah, oh, they're even top four to make, to win the Champions League. You wouldn't put them in your top four. You generally there's wouldn't. Only, there's only three teams I would tell you that are guaranteed to be better than Leverkusen next year if they kept everyone. And that would be Go Liverpool, on. Real Madrid and Man City. Those would be Arsenal? the only three teams Arsenal? that I would say are Arsenal? guaranteed. What I would say Arsenal are guaranteed to be better than Leverkusen. Next Come on, oh, you're doing too much. You're doing too much. No, I'm not what saying about... they'll be guaranteed because you who, say knows what would happen, who knows what would happen. You said Real Madrid, in, in fact, you know what? I can't even put Liverpool in there because Klopp's not going to be here anymore. And without Klopp, I probably couldn't even say Liverpool would be a guarantee better than... If Jabba Alonso stayed at, at, at Leverkusen, kept everybody and then added to it, Real Madrid and Man City were probably be the only two teams that you could sit there and go, no, they're a guarantee they'll be better than them. Everyone else should be like, oh, I don't know. Depends what he gets to do. Depends what the next step is in his development. Depends. Because that Leverkusen team is brilliant. Have you actually is, watched bro, them? But I feel awesome they are would. brilliant. I watched them the other day. Like I couldn't believe how good they are. Like They're Arsenal an unbelievable team. Them. I'm going to be real. As much as I don't like them, they will crush you, you, Leverkusen. You, you think so? Okay. Yeah, they would. Because even though Alonso is a great manager and great tactician and whatnot, when I look at, like, even if you do the whole player for player thing, and like, let's just say it's like a level playing field, <laughs> Arsenal just got too, they got too many answers for Liverpool, in my opinion. They got too many answers. So you've got, in my opinion, you've got a Liverpool team that, like, without a Jurgen Klopp, I still think can do so much damage to Leverkusen. But I understand you'll be wary of them, you would fear them. But I still think, well, in my opinion, this is, I can speak for me. I would expect to still go through if we went against them in a two-legged tie. Let's just say we got Amarim. And say the players say we're doing well, red tear, tear, players understanding what he wants. And with the players that are there now, I would expect Liverpool to beat them. So that's Liverpool. That's City. I'm thinking Real Madrid. I'm thinking Arsenal. Even are if you, you were to throw Arsenal in there, that means they're the fifth most likely team. I'm gonna be, well no, be real as well. I'm to be, be able oh, to win the Champions and League. And if Bayern get a new manager. Depending on who your manager is. Yeah, but that's I a lot of ifs. Bayern's in the mix. Ooh. That's a lot of ifs. <laughs> um, and who else is in the mix? Um, that, yeah. that, 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 that is a lot of ifs. Do you know what Bayern's I'm saying? Bayern's definitely in the mix, though. Hey. Yeah, little man. Say, so how are you? <clears throat> how are you? Not I'm good. Bad. Are you okay? Yeah. It's going to be a day off. It's so yeah, they're listening to Yin Yang Twins, girl. Judge it. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go and take him upstairs. No, no, we're not nice. This is not yeah. the I, 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 I personally, I, I, Matt, let, 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 me, let me ask you this, Good Matt. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Good night. Good night, little man. See you later, little man. See you later. Let me ask you this, Matt, yeah? Yeah. And this, this will give you like, an understanding of where I'm coming from with what I'm saying. Mm. Even if you think I've gone a little bit too far by saying they'll be like third, fourth, most likely. Which you have, the but I hear what you say. Okay, saying. fair enough. I'm doing too much. I can accept that if I'm wrong. But hear this. Who's the only team truly you believe stopped Liverpool winning the Europa League this season? That's Europa. No, 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 no. But that's a Liverpool Europa. team with Klopp and you still know in your heart if we draw Leverkusen, you're going to brick it. Do you know what it is? No, do you know what it is? That is a yeah. Jurgen Klopp it's Liverpool team, team that you are still going to brick it if we get Leverkusen in any round of this Europa League. Yes. So if he gets to add to right. that, 
yeah. then goes again next year with an even better team, then why would they not be considered one of the better teams when we're afraid of them in the Europa? Because of the story that's being written. No, bro. Do you know, because yo, they're no, good, it's because no, they're no, no, good, of course, no, bro. no, they're good, they're better than good, they're amazing. What I'm scared about, yeah, is like what I'm if the master has to face his apprentice, it's all them things there, bro. I don't know if I'll be able to handle that 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 whole storyline of the master and apprentice, but I'm not gonna lie because Klopp needs to win that as much as in a weird way, you think if Alonso wins it with Leverkusen, <laughs> you're thinking, wow. And he's gonna take us over next season, bro. I, just, I don't want to think about that. That the, the, them narratives. But I hear what you're saying. Cause, cause, it's cause you know what this is, guys. This this Leverkusen story is what the Monaco story could have been if they hadn't been ripped apart. I think that Monaco team could have won the Champions League if they'd have been able to stick together and then add to it. But it got ripped apart, and then the rest is history. So if that happens to the Leverkusen team, then fair enough. But if it doesn't. Because you go back and you look, that Monaco team that won the league could have won the Champions League the following year, you know. If they'd have got to keep everybody together, I think they got to a semi-final or quarter-final anyway the year they won the, the league. Now imagine if that team would have got to keep yeah, stick I together quarters, and then quarters. go again next year with Flacco and, 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 and Falcao and, and Mbappe. That, that Monaco and team Bernardo though, Silva. was better than this Leverkusen team. I don't... That maybe it had maybe, maybe it had more future. Bernardo, Bernardo, Mbappe, Falcao. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 but, no, but guys, what we're doing is we're doing, Mendy we're, and left that was doing big yeah, stuff. Yeah, you know? No, no, maybe, Mendy, maybe that then. is true, but we're doing all of that in hindsight because at that time nobody knew that Bernardo and Flacco and all their man would be who they are. At that time, nobody knew they were goals. So it is a bit of hindsight. No, you're Bernardo doing. was but one. You're probably right. Bernardo, 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 everyone Bernardo knew what Bernardo was. Everyone knew Bernardo. Everyone got to say anything new. David Silva, bro. No, no, but nobody yes. knew. Who, yeah, Florian Verts looks now better than Bernardo did at Monaco. And no one no. can tell me what? <laughs> No, no, no. Drift, you're right. doing too much, bro. All right. You, you're you telling me Bernardo Silva at Monaco was better than Florian Verts yes. is now at Leverkusen. No, yeah. no, no. I no, love no, Florian no. Verts. I think he's no, quality. No, no, we're, but we're Bernardo right. at Monaco was no. fake. He was a brilliant People player. People were but no, saying he was not better than when it, Florian no, 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 Bro, no, when he, he was wasn't. at Monaco, I, I they I were literally you. saying he could be David Silva's twin. Now imagine how no, rated. I, yeah, pe no. pe People were saying things like that, but nobody even cared he went City. Nobody what? even cared he went City. Who? He went under the radar. You mean, it wasn't you even a big deal. Nobody was fussed he went there. Bro. Nobody was fussed. I was. Everybody knew he was a good player, but nobody was thinking, oh, my days is about to change the game. Bro, I literally sat that. there and went, he doing is it in David hindsight. Silva reincarnated, and it pisses hindsight. me off that we didn't I try and get him. Everyone else drift at, at yeah. the time, it's I hindsight. was very upset that Bernardo was going Man City. Facts, bro. He was nuts. More upset Pause. than you'd be if you heard that Man City were going to sign Florian Verts. Yeah, at the time I was. No, I can't. If you no, have no, mentioned no, no, him, no, 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 but not on the same. That's because he's one of my one of my favorite players. No, 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 Works going to City no, 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 but if they sign a good player, we sign a good player, and we go we go to battle again. Like at the I time, I'm not saying Bernardo wasn't good at Monaco. I'm just saying you didn't know. Hindsight now is a lot easier because we know what those players are. Have gone are on you to saying be. this about Bernardo because you dislike him though? That's dude. what I'm thinking. No, I remember how I felt about him before. I thought he was a dick, and I thought what a brilliant player. But I didn't think he was as good as I think Verts is now. I'm watching Verts now, and I'm like, no, this kid is cold. Yeah, At the time, him. I was like, Bernardo's a brilliant player. But for mm -hmm. me, I believe that when I watched that team, that Monaco team, he was a brilliant piece of the puzzle. Whereas I look at Leverkusen, I'm like, Verts is actually one of the X factors. Like, he's actually so kind was of like... Bernardo! No, I think Falcao and Mbappe were their X factors. I don't. Are you forgetting this one? Falcao, as great as Falcao was, this one Falcao at Atletico. You do realize? No, no, Falcao was post ACL. No, 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 no. He was a beast, bro. Falcao was chipping goalkeepers, banging in goals every week. Ronaldo Silva ran. I'm telling you from now. I watched him closely. 
Bernardo Silva still ran the show at Monaco. Everything he was, was through him. All them passing. You see the passing he, he of Falcao and, and Mbappe? Bro, Bernardo was the guy. I, I, I still think there's a lot of... Because when he was even a bit younger, he had a bit more to, pace. Uh, and they were, play, they were playing him right wing sometimes. But Bernardo was cold, fam. No, he was good. Different levels. But anyway... I rate it first, but... The point yeah. is, I still believe Leverkusen could do similar to that team if they're not taken apart. They could go to that next level, they can add to it, and then they could go on and they could do more. So Shall I, tell you I why think you'd be better off that? staying at Leverkusen and going to Bayern Munich, to be honest. Do you, do you know why I say it's hard to say that, Drift? Because the the season Monaco uh, and Leverkusen, this is their surprise season, isn't it? It's all it's, it's, it's like winning a UFC belt. You win it, but then the target's on your back. So it's a different level of pressure. Everyone's preparing for you now. So you were the surprise package coming through, mm. but now you're not the surprise package. So you see how teams played against you. Look, bruv, case in <clears> point, 17-18, <throat> teams came out and played football against Liverpool. 18-19, they gave us the ball and said, we're sitting on the edge of our box. Ain't no way we're giving Sadio Mane and Salary space in behind. And two people are sticking on Firmino. We saw what happened last season. We ain't doing that nonsense this season. We ain't getting hit six and sevens. Break us down. That's why it's so difficult to say they can replicate what they do the first time, the second. Arsenal were doing it. Arsenal didn't win anything last season. But they were the surprise package and you would have thought people that looked at them and thought, okay, we, we're ready for them now. They're still top of the league and batting everyone up. They're not top of the league. What? Two point, they're at the top of the league. They're in the title race. They're not top of and, the league. And then, no, and, and race, but you, can't you know, what I mean. you don't have to, you don't have to be literally first to be top of the league. You know what I mean? They're, they're up there. They're one of the best teams in the country, and everybody knew it would happen, and no one was able to do anything about but, it. So they but, were surprised last year, but this year they're not surprised, and they're still up there. But they didn't win anything last season, though, Drew. So the target weren't on the back. The target was still on Man City's back, and they went out and got a deck to ride. You've still got to watch how they are and know to prepare for them now because they're not a joke anymore. They're a good no, team now. Uh, no, agree. And nobody's been able to deal with it. They're still batting everyone up, still winning games, still top of the league. I mean, I wouldn't so is that not a very similar anyone. scenario? No. I think I it is. So. Other than Leverkusen are going to hold on and, and probably win the league and Arsenal weren't able to hold on and didn't win the league. But Man City are a much better team than Bayern Munich. So it was harder for Arsenal to hold on. And Arsenal have still done extremely well the following season, proving it wasn't a fluke. So Leverkusen, if they keep everybody and add to it, I think would do what Arsenal would do. Very similar. They'd still be a brilliant team again the following year. Still do well. Still be up the top, still be at the top. But the difference is Arsenal won't get cherry picked off for their players, whereas Leverkusen, because nothing will. Well, that's the reason why I'm saying it would all be if Alonso could convince everybody to stay. If they leave, then what but that, I'm that's saying a, but is, that's is what I'm saying. I'm avoid, isn't it? Most likely scenario, win or lose, players are leaving Leverkusen because remember they're not a gigantic <laughs> club like Arsenal. Arsenal are a gigantic club. Not just that, can take a lot to take place again. out of Arsenal where the project is. With Alonso, Alonso will go. You find a Jeremy Fring prong. Uh, I don't want to sell him, but the board might say 60 mil. I uh, will take that. Alonso, do me a favor, mate. Go and find another Fring prong for like 30, 40 mil. That's what that's the type of that's what he would have to do. And you know what will happen? He'll do very well, but it won't be the same. That's it's, what I it's, think. It's not just that, it's the can you hang on to all your players and then go and get a Declan Rice type of player? Because I don't I don't think they can. No, they don't. They can't. But to win the Bundesliga, they wouldn't need to go that high in terms to of To win the Champions kind of League, stuff. though, Drift, they would have to. Yeah, but maybe he would look at the scenario and think, winning the Champions League would be amazing, but it's more mm. about solidifying my legacy at Leverkusen and continuing the story. And if I get a Champions League, cool. But like, I don't think he'd be like obsessed with it. Like, all he'll care about in the summer is what club can I go to to win the Champions League? He's still young in his manager career. He's not just going to be obsessing over winning Champions League. I'm not saying he's obsessing over it, but why not go to Bayern Munich where you've got a very good chance of winning the Champions League as well as, I'd say, I'm going to say a 90% chance of winning the Bundesliga as well. Why not? Why not, Stat Pad? Why not? Mm. 
No, I'm Harlan, not saying he Harlan, won't do it. Harlan but... could have gone straight. Remember, Harlan could have gone straight from RB Salzburg straight to the Premier League, you know. Harlan said, you know what, let me hit up Germany, do my thing over there, make sure I start to become accustomed to the to European football and at the highest level, even though I'm probably not going to win anything. But let me get myself ready so when I make the move to a Man City, to a Liverpool, to one of the big boys, boom, I'm ready. The Premier League, we all agree, is the hardest league in the world. He doesn't have to come to us yet. He's still young. He could do three, four, he could even do five years at Bayern Munich and still go to Liverpool and everyone would still want to go. And you'd still be young enough to have time on his side as well. Yeah, 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 I, I know. Like, I'm, I'm just saying, if you win the league with if you win the league with Leverkusen, there might not be much motivation to stay in the same country. That's all I'm saying because Champions League is a you lose one game randomly, you shouldn't have lost, and then you're out, and then you're still in that same competition that you've already conquered in a much harder, more impressive way. So maybe that might be what makes him think Bayern Munich's not really that much of an attraction to me right now. I've conquered Germany. Remember, they're changing remember, the format for story. next year, though. It's a league. Yeah, I remember thing, he. Though. He's got a love story of Bayern Munich. Not just that drift. How many players leave Dortmund, Leverkusen, and all these other teams to go to to Dort to Bayern Munich? But flipping um, Goethe, Hummels, their man won the league at Dortmund. Yeah, but and they're German, Dortmund. and they probably grew up supporting Bayern Munich or whatever. He's Spanish. He doesn't have that same affiliation with them. But he it ain't the same. Them. He played for them. No, I know, but their man are German, and when you grow up German the pinnacle of being a German football player is to play for Bayern Munich. It's like Real Madrid in Spain. The pinnacle to play, you know what I mean? Like, it's not quite the same. Like, I don't think a Spaniard is going to look at Bayern Munich the same way a German does and be like, no, I've got to make sure that that's part of my journey. Yeah, he loves the club and he's been there before. But if Real Madrid came calling, he will turn his back on Bayern Munich in a second. So what's Do you get what I mean? Because so, so Real Madrid we... is, the, is the glory for him as a Spaniard and they are the best club in the world. That would be the glory to be Real Madrid manager. It would supersede anything because he's a Spaniard who grew up in Spain and there's no bigger accomplishment than being Real Madrid manager. So then I ask you then, Drift, why, why do we have a chance and if he's not English and he's, he didn't grow up a Liverpool fan? Because his family are Liverpool fans and Real Madrid, he'll pick Real Madrid over us all day long. If it was Real Madrid and Liverpool, I wouldn't even, I would tell everybody to stop even thinking for half a second we could get him. If it was Real Madrid or Liverpool, not Bayern and Liverpool, I would tell everybody, put your drinks down. It's done. He's going Real Madrid. There's absolutely no point even thinking about it. But I'd... remember, he's got his children and Liverpool supporters and his affiliation with Liverpool is stronger than it is with Bayern Munich, if not equal. So that's why it's like, oh, which one's he gonna pick? I wonder which one he's gonna go to. But that's why I'm like, so that's what I'm saying. I obviously hope he picks Liverpool, but from a a career standpoint, you can see why, why take the risk as early now when he doesn't have to. He doesn't need to take the risk. No, now. I hear where you're coming from. I understand where you're coming from, but no. I don't guys, think I, I I I don't I don't think. We're giving him enough credit if we look at it from that point of view with regards to, if you're an ambitious person, you know we will say, we as the fans will look at the negative, but if you're the person who's ambitious and believes in yourself, you'll always only look at the positives. I think he would look at the fact that from that point of view, like with an ego point of view, that Liverpool is a bigger accomplishment to win something than it is with Bayern Munich. So therefore, that makes me look better. So let me go and, and win what makes me look better. Because that's what an ego-driven person would be, right? They'll be like, oh, you don't think I can take over from Klopp? Okay, cool. You don't think I can win a much harder league to win? Okay, I'm going to prove you something. Because let's be honest, if you go to Bayern Munich, he's the only reason Bayern Munich aren't going to win a league. So he is going to win a league if he goes to Bayern Munich. So he already know. knows. That's almost like not even going to be credited because it's like what people say about Poch won the French league, bro, and no one gives him any ratings for it. Because they know that you're supposed to win the league when you're PSG manager. That's what people say, right? I've had people throw that in my face when I rate Pochettino. They're like, well, with the only league he's won, he was supposed no, to No, but that's, but that's the point. But that's, but that's the point right there. Though. That's the only one he's won. It's the only one. Chabi Alonso effectively isn't going to be coming off the back of not winning anything. No, no, no. Ever. Yeah, facts. But what I'm saying is, but if he wins the league with Bayern Munich, he'll get no credit for it. 
it'll be the same principle, though. Oh, well, you want it with Bayern Munich? Bayern Munich always win the league. Like, he won't get any credit for winning the league with Bayern Munich. He'll only get credit for winning the Champions League. If you're Bayern Munich manager, the only thing you're rated on is Europe. I, I've, I've had conversations with people and I say that Guardiola won the league with Bayern Munich. And people are like, so? Like, people are like, so cares if he won the league with Bayern Munich? But, but, but your, your situ what you're saying about ego and stuff there, that you could apply that. But Guardiola could have gone to Liverpool. He weren't choosing Liverpool, bro. He went to the, the team, no way he knew he had the best chance of winning. No, but that was a bit different. They were like grooming him and stuff. Remember all the Barcelona man there? No, they I'm, were grooming the no, situation I'm talk, for... No, I'm talking about him going from Bayern Munich to, to Man City. Yeah, if, yeah, they were grooming him, bro. While he was at Bayern Munich, Man City were doing everything in their power to get Guardiola. They were getting all of his regardless, regardless, Barcelona back and they were doing all that time, shit. Guardiola would never have chosen Liverpool over Man City because he knew he can go Man City and implement stuff straight away almost. Whereas with Liverpool, it's going to take time. A Bayern Munich, Alonso could do that as well. Remember, I'm not sitting there saying Alonso's not an ambitious person. But why would I'm not saying he wouldn't come Liverpool, Liverpool now, bro? I'm saying from an advisor's standpoint, I would advise Alonso to look at the Bayern Munich job more intensely than the Liverpool one. No, and I get your logic. But the thing is, bro, when Guardiola went to Man City, not only were they grooming the whole scenario for him, we were in the mud at that time, so we weren't um, we weren't an attractive club at that time. No, but I'm talking about in terms of what you were mentioning about ego. Like, I don't necessarily think ego plays a massive role in this. No, the ego part is when you believe in yourself. So yeah. where people are saying, "Oh, but you got the guarantees at Bayern Munich alone," so it's a bit of a risk to go Liverpool. Like, at least at Bayern, you've got some guarantees. The ego within him will be like. No, man, I'm good enough. I don't care if there's more of a... I'm good enough. I'm going to go Liverpool. That's I believe fact. in myself. That's fact. I, I, I believe that I can... Do you get what I mean? That I can win there. But let me flip it again, bro. His ego could go, yeah, do you know what? I'll do three, four years here and then boom, I'll go Liverpool and I'll tear it up as well. No, it could. That's what I'm... <laughs> that's it what I'm, could. Like, oh, it bro, could don't get with... twisted. But what you're saying, I agree with that Bayern Munich yeah. could be a more attractive. I agree with that. I'm just trying to like give you some fight back as to why I believe he he would still pick Liverpool over Bayern. But no, you're right. He could easily pick them. Oh, uh, the thing is, not date night tonight now, Lee. Huh? Lee! Not date night tonight now. Big up on the win, man. Good win. Yeah. Very good win. Yeah. Brilliant win, actually. I'm not going to downplay that. That's a brilliant win. Hey, you know what, David? Big up yourself. It's cool, man. It's cool, bro. I appreciate that. Um, right. But yeah, it's, um, look, it's a tricky one, bro. It's a tricky one. I think, I don't know, I'm still 50-50 on whether we get Alonso or not. I just, I as I, I keep on reiterating, I don't think it's the end of the world if we don't get him. I really don't. There's an argument to say Amarim is the better manager currently. Alonso might have the highest ceiling. He might have the the quote-unquote fairy tale story with Liverpool, but there's a high possibility that Amarim could actually be the better manager right now. I hear you. I hear so, you. As all right, all right, me, if it's one of those two, I'm good. If it's not one of those two, then I maybe do do in the bed a little bit. I'm not going to lie. Let, 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 let me put it like this. I think because we have... I can't remember who it was. Big up who, who it was before who said it's the love story, Cal. I think it was it Ty. There was someone who said, Cal, it's, with Alonso, it's about the love story. Mm. So if you take away the love story part of us winning Alonso, you might be able to handle us not getting Alonso. But that's the part that's going to hurt people the most because because of the love story. Everybody loves a good love story, right? Brother, I'm losing Klopp this summer. My love's... Brother, I'm cold now. All right, so this is what, it, so this is what I could liken it to. Then. I don't have love in my heart anymore, brother. Klopp I just want is, glory now. Klopp is Beyonce, J-Lo, yeah? And you realise that you're getting divorced. If you was going to go and get, I don't know, Halle Berry you'd be like, I'm good. Because it's not going to be, you know, your first love and, and that. But but the step down isn't really that big of a deal. Now, there what could be somebody... Halle Berry talking? What version? Huh? What version? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Halle Berry's the wrong thing because she's on that level, but I can't even think of a... Of a yeah, but anyway, you get the point. Halle Berry didn't. You, so Alonso <laughs> is like... That's version. <laughs> <laughs> Alonso... Alon 
Alonso is like that. <laughs> yeah. But then if you but then if you get somebody oh, else, man, you'd be like, ah oh, man, I thought I was getting Halle Berry, man. But you can still end up happy with whoever the other woman is. But at the time, you're not going to think it because you're just going to be thinking, well, oh, Halle, Halle, be Halle, Halle Berry, Berry. You're, you're effectively saying, Halle Berry is like the best manager of all time. You do... You didn't realize what that, no, doing. that's why I said that it was it was a poor choice of 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 yeah, uh, definitely wow. a poor choice. But Obviously, again, I don't I don't want to I don't want to start getting disrespectful and start like naming women and start doing all that comparison stuff. But you get my point. Like you're going from a from a from a woman even who when she was an X to another brilliant yeah. woman. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, like, no, nah, I just thought by it now. Bro. Sorry, <laughs> I know we're talking about football, but I just thought that's older than a minute. No, bro. When she was in X, right, this storm, man yeah. A coach, man, a coach, man, a coach. Right, but anyway, you get enough. my point. You get my yeah, point. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. could still end up happy. <laughs> I don't know if I get it, over, Once you get over the fact that it's not Halle Berry, but it's gonna feel like, oh my god, I thought I was getting Halle Berry. So it's that's what it's gonna be like. We might end up with Amrim, and it is better. But we're gonna be like, oh, we thought we're getting Alonso. <laughs> Fuck, man, why didn't we get a lot? Like, you're gonna have to get over that part before you realize that yeah, you're no, okay. I, I, understand again. What, I know, I know you mean there because I'll be you get honest, what I'm like, saying. Halle Berry more... was just a poor choice. Mm. I agree because you're still thinking, to be fair, I might even want that more than J Lo. So, I get the point, but what I'm saying is, it's the same thing. You're gonna oh, just be thinking ball, about bro. that and then you're gonna be disappointed about that, and it's gonna take you a little while to Someone get over Megan it. Good as well. That's Megan all I'm great. Saying. Call her Megan Great, bro. <laughs> Megan great. It was a poor oh. choice. It was a poor analogy. Yeah, that's, brother, as yeah, I said, that's bro, the like, only time. I've, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's on, the only yeah, time yeah. you flopped with an analogy. Let's be yeah, real. Yeah, bro. yeah, that was, a bad, <laughs> that was the only time. Analogy. It's the only time. Yeah, yeah, what, four years ago, four or five years ago, <laughs> four years of analogy. Everyone's allowed one. Everyone's allowed one. Let's be real. We're still happy to use the name, bro. So it was a poor analogy. But 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 you get the sentiment, though. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. I'll be honest, the more I, I see about the Alonso thing and I'm seeing like, even like Sky Germany, and again, it's Sky Germany, like they're going to push that agenda. But I am worried when they're saying things like they've opened talks of Alonso and it's all put, like, mm. but and I, you know what, right. just, just, quickly, just quickly, just quickly. No, so tell you what worries me, if we're being honest. It worries mm -hmm. me because Liverpool don't have a sporting director. It worries me because all the news that's been leaked recently about Liverpool is they want to get a sporting director, then they want to kind of make moves because they want to get that in place because for players as well. That's the bit that I'm worried about. We don't, all we have right now is a Jurgen Klopp that's trying to finish his season and we don't have no sporting director even now. Do you get what I'm saying? That worries me a bit. Can't H, I don't even think we can bring it up, bro. <laughs> we definitely can't read it. Yeah, that. H, we can't bring that up, H. I didn't even see what it's from. We definitely can't read it out, bro. Do you want to know what's crazy? A couple of people in the chat have said what I was thinking. I just didn't want to cut in. But guys, I'll be honest with you. This is an even better analogy to make up for that real poor analogy I just gave. Endo. At the time, we were so devastated. We didn't get what we thought we was going to get with Caicedo. But let's be honest. If you look at the way the season's gone just for this 12 months or whatever... We've ended up with probably the player that has been better for us. But the hindsight is the only way we look at that now. At the time, we just couldn't believe we'd lost out. We were like, oh, my days, this is, um, I can't believe. And we were vexed, right? But in hindsight, Endo <laughs> might have been better for us. <laughs> so it'll be the Endo situation all over again. Hmm. It looked yeah. bad at the time, but then it ended up being better at the end. So yeah, it is right. I tell you what does look good at the end, though, guys. Doing a video and getting at least a thousand likes. So we've almost got a thousand of you in here. So there's, as if I can see rightly, there's a 950 of you in here watching right now. If you haven't already, guys, please stop briefly in the live chat, scroll up, and hit that like button, guys. It really helps the channel to grow. Well, how many likes are we on at the moment? If you don't mind me asking, boys, do we know? We don't. Let me check. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Nice. It's not a butchers. Oh. We are on right about now. We're only on 463, guys. Come on. So, guys, we're, please yeah, give me 800 Look. likes, guys. Please. 464 and 100 likes, please. Come on, can guys. We do that? Can we do that ASAP, please, kind guys? Much, I'd be greatly appreciate if we could do that. Please, can we do that mm. right now, guys? Pretty, pretty, please. Not often I beg, 
but I'm going to I'm a little bit beggy. But can we get those likes up, please, guys? Because it really helps the channel to grow. And um, I think it's the least we deserve, if I'm going to be honest. So please, can we do that, people? Please, can we hit that like button right about now, if possible? Thank you. Right, boy, <clears throat> let's move on to the next topic. Liverpool. We got, a, we got a lot of supers on topic, though, bro. Let's get through that. All right, can you quickly yeah, yeah. do that for me while I'm Yeah, just yeah. Hey, hey, chat, you, you know we love you, bro, but we can't bring that one up, bro. We can't, like, we can't. Um, <laughs> Dean says, uh, Drifty would make a great lawyer. I would hire him. Maybe I went into the wrong profession then, bro. If you I actually... Wanna... Yeah, yeah, yeah I, 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 I wouldn't be able to handle what's going on. In, yeah. In, yeah, I wouldn't be able to. Um, Big up promo. Um, says, Leverkusen could win every competition with zero losses. Crazy. This is what I'm saying about if they keep the team together, people, did like, it could be amazing. Right. Could be amazing what they do next year. It really could. Um, Aslan um, says, will experiencing big club expectations. What does that mean again? The W with a zero? Uh, with the O? What does that will mean? Will experience without. big? Is that? Without. Yeah, oh, without the risk. Oh, without yeah, the right risk. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know if you meant to say anything, bro, but big up. Hold on. Every time I see a H one, I gotta make sure. <laughs> H move. He's got us moving diligently. Oh, I think. Hold on. Can I? Yeah, yeah. This one's calm. This one's yeah. calm. Dyer, the that that dire brother is pure muck. <laughs> Man can make a skid mark look technically gifted. <laughs> Live here now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what it be. That's what it be. Tame ones. Imagine. I'm telling you. Max. Um, the red guy says, never again am I supporting my United against Max. the rival. I don't know, guys, we knew they weren't going to do nothing. Although, to be fair to Rashford, I, I, I cashed in one of his chips. Cal, remember when I said I want to cash in somebody in Rashford? He tried, um, but... Yeah. I'm going to say something really bad, but I want people to hear me. Rashford scored one of the goals of the season. He did. He was trash yesterday. No, he actually was, though. He was trash. He was try I agree with everything you said. Yeah, I can't even like, he, he wasn't. And this is why I say just because someone scores a goal, you can't automatically give them a good rating. You have to watch Rashford the game. Because that goal is one of the best goals we'll see all season. It might have been. Be yes, yeah, it's definitely out there. It's definitely out there. But the rest of the performance is one of the worst performances I've seen from an attacker as yeah, well. Yeah, it was poor. He was timid. Every time Walker got near him, he <laughs> fell, fell on the floor. Yeah, because he got embarrassed. Do you know what is crazy, though? I was talking to my brother today and I said the same thing to him. I don't think he agreed with me, but I think it's such a shame that Man United had Hoyland injured on the form that he was in because Man United might have been able to get out there of a draw if they'd have had him as an actual target man. Their, the problem with their tactics, what was so bad about their tactic, was that there wasn't a hold-up man for the tactic because Rashford was so bad up front. But Hoyland is actually a target man. I think they might have got out of there with a draw with Highland up front, you know. I think I think the game could have been because remember they were until the seventh minute they were winning, and they had no outlet, they had no reprieve, no, no I know. nothing. I know, I know. With Highland as an outlet, maybe they could have got out of there with a one-one, you know. Maybe I think, I'm just I think saying they could have done better, but let's not act like Highland didn't miss one of the worst chances all season, bro. Like that. No, that is the worst chance all season. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get that. I get that. So, but then, but what if that still happens in the game? But Hoyland is there. I'm just saying, Hoyland would have given them more of an outlet. Is all I'm saying. Maybe I. They wouldn't, have been, they wouldn't have been penned in as much, and it wouldn't have been so like mm, just they're just constantly... a whatless team. They're just a whatless <laughs> team. That's no. I'm gonna be real. They are. They're whatless, man. They really are. They're really whatless. I don't even think Chelsea. Well, Chelsea didn't. Chelsea didn't go to Etihad and behave like that. Yeah, you're right. They didn't. About them, bro. They're, they're whatless. They're really, really whatless, bro. Away from home. At home, they've got a little bit of fight about them. Away from home, they're absolutely whatless, bro. They literally anyway. go there and just curl up and just and just they roll up into a ball or they just clinch against the cage for the whole for the whole fight. It's, it's they're whatless, man. I will I will say this: as much as the guy is a brilliant striker, it is mad that he's got some of the wildest finishes. And then it does just totally not get talked about because he is a good goal scorer. You talk like, about Harlem. Yeah, like in the moments of the that, misses he has, I still finish. think people should say things. Like he, this season, he's missed 
easily the worst sitters. Like, there's about three or four of them that yeah. you're like, yeah. what did I just witness? Uh, bro, like, he what on earth did I just yeah, witness? Yeah, yeah, like, that yeah, miss yeah. he did yesterday, for me, might be top three worst misses I might have ever seen. Like, he was a yard out and he put it over the bar. How is I'd that even top, possible? I'd go top five. I remember, like, the car news one that was on the line and all that. Like, oh, that car, car news one was crazy. That car news one was crazy, though, bro. It yeah. was almost like it was, like, scientifically impossible yeah, to get yeah. that high on it from that close. It was From mad. there, bro. I'm going to be real. Five. That, that, that Harlem, Harlem misses have been top five, but the, the, the problem is two things. Man City aren't as big a club as Liverpool, so it's not going to get magnified as much. Yeah. And two, because he does score a bag of goals as well it bells him out in it it's like when alice you see when allison has a bad game for us we free, we sweep out under the rug because we go oh, yeah but look he, mm. he saved us about no 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 i get it but no season. but within that no but what i mean is within that match report he should be ridiculed for it afterwards you move on of course he's a gunman but within that match report though but they won't do that even it's like no yeah. within that match report you've got to talk about oh, that miss. No, maybe, that was you know, crazy we we could be in a bit of a of, of a tunnel here with with what we're seeing just because jamrock's saying on espn they magnified it oh okay they did so, in england sky i mean sky sports did they did show it quite a few times to be fair but i don't feel like it was magnified magnified like if it was going to be if nunez or jesus missed that for example or highland we're speaking about it for a long time but again it's it's Man City, and that's again, that's not even me taking digs at them, but they're not as big a club as the other three, innit? So, oh, they no, might yeah, get away yeah, yeah, no, they're not. Um, they're not right, works. Liverpool have been linked with two players today. No, sir, but there's a couple more, sir. There's a couple oh, more. Oh, sorry, sorry, that are, that are actually on topic. Um, Jamot says, I want an elite director of football before any manager is hired. Agreed, agreed. I think that's the most important acquisition this summer. Um, Jake says Thiago cost 380 grand per 60 minutes he played. He was a disaster. That doesn't that's not good reading. Although remember, Jake's not a Liverpool <laughs> terrible fan. Terrible reading, so. bro. <laughs> but Jake's not a Liverpool fan, so I'm gonna have to fact check that. But <laughs> you basically I'm call gonna, him man in the like, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have this to fact is check it. Lawyer side, bro. I'm gonna have this to fact check side. it. I'm sorry, Jake. I'm gonna have to fact check it, bro. I'm gonna <laughs> any, any anything from a rival's got to be fact checked. It has to be fact. I mean, let's be real though. Jake is a rival, but he's never come in there and said anything wild. Let's be real. He hasn't, but I'm still gonna fact check. <laughs> I'm still gonna. <laughs> I'm still great. gonna. Um, Dean says yes, lads. Uh, we need to keep winning. We have uh, the moment. Oh, I think he means momentum. However, I'm also kind of jealous of Arsenal. They look refined and polished with no injuries. The, the no injury part is what definitely makes me think that them, them, them guys are the favourites because the injuries are going to catch up with us eventually. Like, it's, it's impossible for it not to. And you don't know if they will get any injuries. So I, 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 I see where Dean's coming from. Um, Dean also says Rashford, People rate Walker as a right back. Man is just a pace merchant. Oh, I disagree with that. Um, and wingers always try to outpace him rather than uh, really beat him with a skill. I think, I think it's just it's easy to say that. I think Walker is a good defender. He uses his athleticism on top of that, but he is a good defender. We can't just call him a pace merchant. Well, in my opinion, anyway, I don't know if anyone else. Um, I think he relies on his pace more than every when it more than any other attribute. But I wouldn't call him a pace merchant. I think his reading of the games improved as he's got older. Yeah, who is this? Carl Walker. Yeah, yeah, Carl Walker. Yeah, he's the best right back to play in the league. Like he is. Do you know what? Um, now I think he is. I I never used to think so, but he is. He is the best I, right. Back I know. To play I know. We league. talk about oh, like the pace, the pace, but you got to remember he's thirty. 33, 34 right now. So judging him now is unfair as well. Like he's in the. I'll be honest. He's career. probably the over, over best athlete in the prem and over his Trent. age, bro. It's crazy. I can't even lie. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You look. You look at his longevity. You look at how long he's been doing it for. He's the best athlete, right back to yeah. play in the league. But Trent, Trent, he was. A, he was a good defender at Tottenham. You know, it's but not a weird know, one because it's hard. Trent changed the game from right back. No, but I, I said right yeah, now, but, I but still Trent's think he's story is not done. Trent. I still think he's a better right back than Trent. I hope Trent's story at right back's done, Matt. 
No, what I mean is his story. <laughs> no, but regardless, though, like Trent's story is not done in terms of like when it's all said and done, you can have that debate. Because we could all sit here and say Trent changed again. That's very, very true. But then if I but if I said to you defensively, who is better, Carl Walker or Trent? It's yeah, actually not even. A, oh, it's not even a discussion. That's what I'm saying. But from an attacking point of view, obviously we know it's Trent, isn't it? All right. So this is where it's going to sound like I'm being a bit salty, but I'm not. I'll explain myself. Mm. For me, it's easier to be a right back when you've only got one job to do. So you're Trent saying had about, Trent had about four jobs to do for Liverpool. He had to defend. But Cal, that's the reason why everyone don't want him at right back anymore. So it's like it's a double edged sword. But Cal, you know, that, you've been his no, no, biggest that, critic. No, though, in terms of let me finish. Saying things, not doing the basics. Yeah, exactly. Because he's Trent started neglecting one of his jobs, which was defending one of his main jobs. But if, if Trent's only job was to defend, I'm not saying he'd be better than Michael Richards as a defender. Sorry, Michael Richards, Carl Walker as a defender, mm. but he'd definitely be way better defensively than what we've seen. Yeah, I agree with that. So, but I still don't think he'd be a better defender than Walker, even all if right, all he Walker's did better than, And Hold that's on, probably because Walker's more athletic. I'm going to speak to them. If, if Walker makes a mistake, he can Walker, recover. Right, I want you to defend. I want you to hit byline as well. And I want you to be a creative creative player who also gets involved in the attacks. You don't think Kyle Walker would be getting exposed certain times? No, but he can't do what Trent can do. And that's my point. But if the game is asking you to be a right back, we're asking Trent to do, to be an unorthodox right back. There's a difference. Traditional Even... right back, if we're just saying attack and defend, you kind of, I hate to say, I hate to say, but you have to kind of go Kyle Walker, bro. But if we're talking... <laughs> What Trent does, that's different because Trent is a better footballer than Kyle Walker. Trent has more strings to his bow than Kyle Walker. Trent is an unconventional right back. Like you said, he's changed the game from what was required. Look at Zinchenko. He's a left back, but what does Zinchenko do? He inverts. Who's a better right back, Bradley or, 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 or my man, Trent? Or who? What, Trent? This version of Trent, Bradley. Yeah, That's what I'm saying. But we're talking about this version of Trent. No, but I think if we just said right back, because you know what you said, Cal? He's not a right back anymore. He's a centre yeah. mid. Yeah, he's yeah. evolved. Oh, yeah. He's but evolved. Trent, but Trent did right back from the age from two thousand what seventeen up yeah. until now. He did. He did. But but, he's a, but no. But in that in that time period, he was absolutely sensational. But now he's out of that time period. We can't look at him as a right back no more. That's why you got to go, Kyle Walker. Kyle Walker longevity is well in it. Nah, fair enough. I mean, I mean, Zabaleta, I think, deserves a shout. I think if Vanovic deserves a shout. I think there's a couple right backs who deserve a shout. No, there are some brilliant no, right backs. But I, I'm but not I, even I saying they're not Walker's, I just think Carl Walker's above them. That's all. Fair dues. Fair dues. I mean, anyway, yeah. Let's Again, I'm not even going to sit here and act like Carl Walker's trash. Like, I wanted him in the summer. Like, so I'm yeah. not going to do that whole. Nah, he's trash. Like, I just, like I don't Kyle Walker's cold. Right I can't lie, he's cold. And let, let, let me just finish up the ones that are on subject. Sorry, then sorry, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, um, sorry. Gossiper says, that B-Tech Dolph Lundgren would not have saved Man United. <laughs> 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 that is harsh. Really? B-Tech no. Dolph Lundgren. Um, John says, big up, guys. Not going to lie. This Arsenal team reminds me of us in 18-19. They will fall short because they will not lose a game. They, they will fall short because we will not lose a game again this season. City will beat them. Guys, look. I don't Take know. it from me now. Pause. Arsenal Pause. are beating Man City. We have to beat yeah. City ourselves because Arsenal I are think beating we have to Man beat City. City. Yeah, we just have to beat City. I don't we care what have they do. We to just beat, beat City. Arsenal are beating Man City. There's a bigger chance of us sitting here, in my opinion, and hoping for an away loss in the North London derby then there is the City Thanks. games. The way City are playing, Arsenal are going to open them up. Trust me when I tell you, Arsenal are going to beat City. I've been saying it and I'm going to continue to say it. Is it at the Etihad or the Emirates? Is that, that the Etihad? But that doesn't all... matter. Bro. No, no, no. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why that it makes it difference. It doesn't matter, bro. No, let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Makes it better for Arsenal. All right. No, hear what I'm going to say. It does, but the pressure from City will be immense. It will be immense. This ain't going to be the Arsenal that you saw against Sheffield United. This ain't going to be the Arsenal that even played against us. Yeah, Arsenal were going to do that what that that man to man press thing where they go four four two. City will play through that. Pre if City play through that press, 
pause. It is a madness. No, no, I hear that, Matt. But let me explain something to you. Yesterday, and KDP has been saved for Arsenal. Remember yes that. Yesterday, Man United had four Bro. or five unbelievable opportunities to break on City. That's because they're direct. Just, Arsenal aren't direct like that. And their, like and that their quality wasn't good enough. Hit the joke. If Arsenal, Arsenal was to like that, get though. those same chances Arsenal had yesterday, Man City, yeah. you're three 0 down at half time. I guarantee. Bro, this is gonna you, sound. Bro. You're gonna think I'm a madman. Arsenal might not necessarily get the same chances because Arsenal don't play direct. Like so basically, when the ball gets to K, um to Bruno Fernandez, Bruno Fernandez, this is looking for Rashford. I'm gonna play Rashford. Arsenal are not doing that. But you don't, don't think Arsenal won't change their tactics for no. City? They're not going to try and go toe to toe with City. No, bro. no. What I'm saying is, I'm not saying don't Arsenal can't tactics. get the same amount of chances. What I'm saying is Arsenal play differently. They play more calculated. Yeah, yeah, of than course Maynard. they do. But Maynard Maynard still leave themselves open. Risky football where it's like, ah, we'll just try and play you through. Arsenal don't really play like that. So what you're saying is, if those chances fall to Arsenal, I 100 percent agree with you. Arsenal bury them. But I don't even know if Arsenal will get them same type of chances because they play very, very differently to Man United. Very different. But they're better defensively than Man United and they're mm -hmm. better at attacking than Man United. So all they've got to do is tweak their tactics to be able mm -hmm. to exploit City while still being solid. But do you think City are going to be and, that and careless go, bro. against Arsenal? Like how they were against Man United? That's what you got to ask yourself. But, but they're the home team. They have to take the initiative All I'm saying, They I'm can't not, sit I'm back not, and play and, for and a they're draw. They're the home the team. Listen, listen, listen. Draw. I'm not saying Arsenal can't win. But we do this with Man City all the time. Everyone wants to doubt them, and then they just go and do what they do, and then it just shuts everyone up. I'm not saying Arsenal can't win. Of course they can win. I'm not doubting City. But I just think Arsenal beat No, no, no. Them. You've sat there and gone, Arsenal going to win. Yeah, yeah. In that game, Arsenal are winning that game. I'm telling you. I don't know about Arsenal that. Arsenal you know, are winning honest. that game. If I've Man seen City... enough. I've seen that. I, 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 I'll sit here and say this right now, yeah, with chest. I've said it to Cal behind the scenes, and I'll say it now. If Liverpool had a full complement of players, we move up City on Sunday. The fact our squad is absolutely depleted, I'm worried. I have no idea how that game's going to go. But if we had our full complement of players, an we move them up because I that's see an deficiencies Anfield, that's in their defence that we would exploit. Yeah, at Anfield, not at Etihad. How many? All right, when was no, the last yeah, time we no, moved no, no. up City? <laughs> no, we have bro, to go back to 18-19 in the Champions League, bro. But if you took our if you took our current That's form years ago, you if know, you took our current form and we we're going to the Etihad with a full team, I'd still be very very confident we'll win the game. No, 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 you'd be confident, but you wouldn't say we, we would move them up. We won't move them up, though. I would. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we can't say. Let's no, no, I, I would believe is, we're going to win the game. Anyway. Listen, I don't want to be a Debbie Downer. I don't want to be. because I don't think you're being a Debbie Downer. What I'm I, saying is you can't... I don't think you're saying anything that's wrong. And it's defending champions for a reason. And don't get me wrong, real. Arsenal could absolutely smoke them off the park. But what I'm saying is, on, a, on another side, you could also look at Man City and go, <clears> I don't know if that's going to happen again to Man City. It could be just... Because they always play that against Man United and they always play like that against Spurs. Two teams... That they always trouble trouble against, but they don't have trouble against Arsenal. It don't matter what shape Arsenal go into. They lost there. to Arsenal. No, but they don't really. Yeah, but over if you look at the cumulative scores, Man City normally beat Arsenal. It's a new normally day, beat Arsenal. Bro, it's a new day. It's a new season. But they've listen, already I, lost to Arsenal, bro. Listen, I'm not saying. That and let's be win. honest. Did we all go back and watch that game? Let's be hundred percent honest. Arsenal were actually the better team in that game. It wasn't a smash and grab, you know. Arsenal were actually better than them in that game. I mean, if I'm not mistaken, I wouldn't ha Harlan go... missed the, Harlan, I would the game say... was poor. The game was poor quality, and I think ha didn't Harland or Ake miss like a really easy chance as well. The game was poor quality, but and Arsenal scored, was and still they the better the team. Deflection as well, like I, I, the game was no, poor. but they but they were still the better team. They yeah, were still not, the better not team. By a, not by a massive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mark. I'm not saying it was a landslide. It was like a 55-45, but they were the better team, and they beat them. Listen. And game, Arsenal are playing better now than they were then. But did they have, in that game, did they have no KDB? Did they have Rod no, They had everybody but De Bruyne. De Bruyne wasn't playing. No, Rodri was suspended for the game. Rod no, Rodri. All right, then. Oh, yes, he was, wasn't he? Oh, yeah. I yeah, forgot. So let's see. And again, let's oh, see yeah, what happens. Yeah, yeah Kovacic's yeah, DM. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's see what happens when, yeah, when, forgot, the, real, no, when the real DM is playing. I forgot Rodri. That's all I'm saying. Playing. But I still believe they're going to win the game. I still but believe they're going to win. Bro, like you said, it wouldn't shock me if they win. What it what but you know wouldn't shock me. Arsenal had no sacker. Shout out to Babs. Arsenal had no sacker in that game. Apparently, would that evens it out then? Fair play. No, no. It happens. It doesn't. KDB and and Rodri doesn't equal sacker. 
<laughs> no, but at that time, KDB had been out all season, so it's Rodri and Saka. So they both had a star player missing. Yeah, but KDB was still out, though. He's back now. As good as Saka was, Saka won't work class. Rodri work class is certified, bro. Certified. Yeah. yeah. Rodri's their talisman since KDB been out. Their talisman. How many How many people are willing to put money on City winning? Because I'm actually good. I'm, I'm actually gonna... putting money on the Arsenal win. That's how confident I am, Arsenal. I'm, not, I'm gonna put money on it. Who would put I'm... money on the City win? Would you actually put money on it? I'm putting my chest out there right now. I think mm -hmm. City finished third, Arsenal finished second, and Liverpool finished top this season. But it's going to be very tight with all three. But I think we I'm... finished up, Arsenal finished yeah. second, and City finished third. If we don't win it, <clears throat> I think Arsenal win it. I, that's what to see. This is what I was gonna say. I kind of almost want to ignore what me and Jiffy would be, <laughs> find I've been talking about for the last two minutes. You want to know why? Because if we don't beat City, then it's irrelevant. It's a wrap, yeah. in it? Yeah, like it's a wrap. Basically, if we beat City, we can go back and forth drift because then it's like, what do we, who do we want to win? What looks better for us kind of thing? But we have to beat City, bro. Want to yeah, know no, why? We have to. We we, have to. If, yeah, like there's not even a draw. We have to beat them. You can't ah, but Matt, Matt, are you willing to make a public bet with me right now? Fifty pound. You, you, City win. You get the money. Arsenal win. I get the money. Boom. Public no, bet I, right like now. Said, Arsenal, no, I'm not going to make that Arsenal, bet. Arsenal City. No, no, but you believe City Liverpool. are going to win com confidently. I never said and I believe that. Arsenal are going to win. If you didn't hear what I said, what I said is this: You're putting Arsenal to destroy. You said. They're not going not to destroy them. I think they're going to... You I, said I, I, move to. Am I, am no, I, I said we right, would move bro? to them if we had our full squad. I said we... Jeff, nah, you said I'm Arsenal going to move to them, I think you said going to move to them You said that, Oh, did I? I think, well, I think they're going to win. 100%. And what I'm I said is this. Down. I don't know about that. You're right enough, Man City. And I said, I think City, with all their players, I said, yes, I can see Arsenal winning, but I can also see City winning. They're too good to write off. That's what I said. No, yeah, I'm not writing them off because Arsenal are a good team. I'm not sitting there Arsenal saying Man City are definitely winning I'm Arsenal. Not dead, them off. So boom. If that was the case, I'll put £100 if that was the case. If I if I thought Man City were definitively going to win, I'd say £100. Let's go. £100. Like, I'm, but I'm I can't real. do that when it's not my team. Just from a neutral standpoint, I do want to see both of them play when they're at their best with their best players available. So if I'm not mistaken, last season when City whacked them up at Etihad, they didn't have Saliba. Arsenal didn't have Saliba. Uh, okay. No, they didn't. No. And obviously, there was no Declan Rice there at the time. I really do want to see these two go full power. So, what are you? Two. If everyone's full strength, so full strength, KDB, Rodri, Saliba, Declan Rice, Saka, who are you picking to win? As of right now, mm. on paper, City are the superior team. But as of right now, in form and and what I watch from City, I think Arsenal go in and win that game. I want about you, Jeff. You think the same? You think Arsenal win that game? I think if they're both full strength, I think Arsenal win the game. Bro, I'm I'm quite surprised at you, man. Because at the and again, I know it's a it's the ground, but it's it's at the Etihad, it bro. Teams can, that, teams get have you these... seen Arsenal's away form this season? Bro, I have seen Arsenal. Have you seen how well they're, they're playing away bro, from home? I have. Who have so Arsenal I don't know. So I, I don't necessarily know who if have Arsenal lost to this season. Away from home, Newcastle. I think only, only Villa, in it? No, Newcastle. Newcastle. Oh, yeah, no, sorry. Arsenal yeah, lost about three, four games, you know, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, no, sorry, what I'm talking about, they lost away at Fulham, didn't they? But generally speaking, that away Arsenal. form is brilliant, though. Arsenal in a groove, right? And when you're in a groove, you look impervious. Look, they beat Sheffield United. Everyone's going to go crazy on Twitter. Mm. Oh, my God, I beat Sheffield United. No, I was Sheffield saying this United, before today, though. No, saying, not you. I'm just saying that, but. Everyone's going to go crazy. All the Arsenal fans are going to get gassed. I'm right. So you beat Sheffield United, right? Yeah. But it's Sheffield United. Yeah? When you play against a Man City, a Man City that's challenging for the title, I want to see what you can do. If they convincingly beat them, Drift, then I'd be like, you know what? Can't say nothing, you know. Arsenal, move to them. Man City, yep. Do you want to know something? They're just better than them now. One of them ones. But until that happens, at the Etihad... And knowing a Man City, how they can be. Because remember, against Man United, I have to keep it a buck. I feel like they, they were playing risky football because it's Man United in the sense of like, it's Man United. It's a derby. It's emotional. Against Arsenal, they're a bit, they play differently. They play like how they play against us. Remember they played against us? 
Yeah, I could be wrong. I'm not saying they're saying it's a fact. I just think they're going to be them. So while and we're just... here, boys, let me ask you guys a question. Is this the most exciting Premier League title race that we've seen? No. Up to up to this point, I think it is. No. Up to this point, Matt, you wouldn't say yes. Because I fully agree Eight... with Drift here. 18 19. But there was two teams involved. I don't in that like team. I don't like other people involved, fam. <laughs> <laughs> no, but then you're being biased. Then, <laughs> I, don't like people I didn't like even that. blink, bro. Then you're being involved. biased, bro. Matt it's just, just... went monogamy, bro. Bro, <laughs> listen. Shout out to the people there. You know what time it is, yeah. Boom. One man for me. <laughs> it's just Liverpool. Man, this was monogamy. <laughs> I'm, I'm One man for me. No one else is involved. Now, all One jokes aside, you're right. It is. It is. It's just. It's a. It is. Pause. It's just a scary prospect, though, of knowing that, like, it's not just you can win it. There's two teams, and I don't yeah. like that, bro. I'll be honest. And of course, it is, bro. It's the most exciting because. If you like, we could win, but then you've got the other team that could draw, then the other team wins, but then you could lose. They win, bro. It's crazy, it's actually crazy. A, a fr- when was the last time we had a um, a free team title race? Can you remember? Hey, listen, big up the chat because you know exactly what I'm saying. We don't want no one, but nobody involved. Um, but yeah, flipping it is, it is, it is, it is. We have to keep it up because even the amount of points as well. I think the last time, what was that time when Spurs were in, were in a two, when it was in a two team title race but finished third? They they were never in a two horse. Title. No, there was. Was it was the Leicester one? It was the Leicester one. It was Leicester. Was, <laughs> Man was said there was in a two team title race, eight. but finished first because Arsenal finished above them. That was crazy. Well, all right. So as of right now, all this all might be the one. Top three teams have played twenty seven games. Arsenal in third on sixty one. City in second sixty two. And Liverpool top with sixty three points. Next yes, on the list is actually Aston Villa on 55. So Villa mm. is six points behind Arsenal. But that's a lot that that a lot has to happen though, isn't it? I mean, no, nah, I hear it, but even Villa I guess if Arsenal doing... lose, if say Arsenal draw the next game and then lose to City or something like that, no, then that opens the door, I guess. For Villa, Villa Villa running a tight race, but I'm just saying no. from a top four standpoint, even Villa aren't even that far away. Like it's not like Bro, they Villa might like, get top four, you know. As of right now, they will because Man, Man United are eleven points behind Aston Villa. Yeah, May, if May, so, so if so if Man United like, would have won, back. yeah, if they would have won, Man United wouldn't they have been They'd three have been points. Seven. They would have still been no. They would have still been eight points. They would have been three points behind Spurs, but Spurs got a game in hand. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, their yeah, game yeah. in hand, I believe, is either against Bournemouth, Luton, or Chelsea. Which are all games I'd expect Spurs to win. Yeah. It, like, if you're if you're thinking about the title race with regards to the absolute unbelievable quality of the title race, then Matt's right, even though it's not what he meant when he said it because he was being silly. 80-19 is the best race because 97, 98 point finishing season, final day of the thing, it's unprecedented. You're never seeing that again. That was just an unremarkable level of quality. I think both teams won 14 games in a row in the running or something ridiculous. Like it was the stupidest running quality wise ever. But a real, real top, top title race, I think needs to have more more than two teams in it if you're talking about is it the best? And this Mm. has got three. So until this point, I think it is. All the other ones people are going to say only really had two teams in it. This actually has three teams 100% in it. So up to this point, I think this is the best title race the Premier League has had. I said, up to the time. <laughs> up to up the to time. This, because we don't know what's going to happen. Yeah, from the end to the end. Fact. No, no. Fact. We don't know what's going to happen. We don't right. know. So. I'm going to just pause the super for a sec, Drift, and just help the last topic, and then we just split through the super. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go, go. We've been linked with two players today. Is he? We were need two players. I'm just, I'm just telling you who we're, we're not sporting director. Who's doing the maths though? Well, Who's apparently, doing... Gary is it Gary? Someone and Barry Fellows are doing. Oh, Barry doing Fellows and um, 
Is it Gary Hunter? No, that's Barry Hunter. Barry Hunter. No, but it's... Oh, my gosh. What's the brother's name? It's Chief Scout and Chief... Oh, my days, bro. And I, re- I know exactly talking about because I read the article. And it's Will Spearman, who's head of data research. Will Spearman. He's the one that heads up the data team. Dave Fallows. That's it. And Barry Hunter. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's them man there. Right. Barry so, Hunter sounds like a boxing promoter. <laughs> 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 it just... Yeah. So, let me ask you guys. Mm. Two players we've been linked with. Is Joshua Kimmich oh and Cover. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna start yeah, the journalist. The journalist are bored, Cal. Yeah, so uh, bored. I hear it. So bored. And so Cravo. We'll oh start with Kimmich. Would you be happy if we made a move for Kimmich in the summer? If so, where would you like to see him employed within the squad or the team? Can I say something that you're not gonna think is wild? I think, you're I, gonna say gonna exactly, say. I think you're going to say exactly what I'm going to say, which is going to be mad. There ain't I no space you. room in our squad. Yeah, I agree. Oh, but that's I what never, I was going to say. I, I never thought I'd but ever think right. that about Me Kimmy. Neither. There's no space room in our squad. Where does he play? Yeah. But, he big Martin, where does he play? Is he, does he play more. DM? No. Nah. Can't I play right play back. DM. Can't play right back. Where would he play? He's he not good enough to be one of our eights now. Where would he play? He could take Thiago's wages. No, I'd rather him not, to be fair. But he'll be slightly more available, <laughs> if that if that makes sense. So it'll be a luxury. He would actually turn out to be a luxury player. That's how bad it would be. But he wouldn't be the type of player that would ever want to be a luxury player. No, so. I know. So then he doesn't want... He, he deserves to be more than that. It's just, we talk about ourselves. Like, he walks yeah, in yeah, the yeah, yeah. squad. He walks in... I'll be honest, he helps Man City more than he helps us. Yeah. Facts. Man said he holds bench for Tyler Moore, you know. <laughs> 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 I'm not gonna go that far, even though Tyler's my guy. I'm not gonna go that far. Um, cover. We'll He'll see. go City, by the way. They'll replace um Kovacic in the summer. 100%. That makes He'll sense. Go. Stays when they get a new manager. That's just me, though. He'll go nah, City. Now, apparently, he wants done. a new challenge. You know, regardless. Yeah, he, manager. You know when? Have you ever seen in Foot Manager where um I think the comment is disillu- disillusioned with disillusioned. life, <laughs> yeah. with life under manager. <laughs> that is that, that is <laughs> keeping. Yeah, yeah. He's That's so right, sick man. and tired, fam, <laughs> of too sure. No, but you do get you do get players. Thiago was an as a case where like they just think yeah, yeah, yeah. I want a new challenge now. Like I, I, I've I done it. All. I want a new challenge. I don't oh. believe Kimmich. I'm gonna be real. I just yeah. saw football gossippers comment. If City Whoa. get Paqueta, it's problem still. Oh yeah, because yeah, they were gonna yeah, remember yeah. they were gonna get him before, but because of the whole. I would I mean, actually rather they got Kimmich. Than yeah, Paqueta same, same, same. Oh, if, so would that because Paqueta. If they get Paqueta, I'm up. hoping Paqueta, I'm hoping Paqueta gets hit with that bat, that betting ban that Tyler Tony. Got hit with, I'm, not gonna <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, he would cook up the place, you know. Oh my yeah. god, him and De Bruyne. Are, oh, that would be mad. Do you know what? EMJ's got a point. Don't just get both. We're talking about Man City here. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I just We're remember? talking about they'll just sell Nunes, they'll sell Kovacic, and they'll yeah. just bring in Paqueta got... and Biggie and they'll... Or Pacatar, they... sorry. We're supposed yeah, to Pacata. call him Pacatar. They've got, they got Matthias Nunes, isn't it? Yeah. But yeah. that is... I find that so... But they don't even play him. He's it's so weird. You know, he played well the other day for them, to be fair. He... Overall, though, he hasn't done well for them at all. He's a weird one, isn't he? Season's he's a, always he's a, a weird one under Guardiola, though, isn't it? Yeah. And he's yeah, a river player Greenish. as well. He's a river yeah, player as well. Yeah, yeah. I still think he's quality, though. I think he is. I think there's there's more. To, but I just thought about it. I was like, well, it's only got Matthias Nunes still. Like, but Quet um, is one of the only players I'd go, yeah, right, we can get another eight still. <laughs> he's one of the only players I'd do that for. Plus, yeah. he could Fran- play right Francis wing as well. just said that Paquet has been cleared of all the bets. Ah! What's that, sorry? Pakatar's been cleared of all of the betting stuff, so ah. there's nothing to. And you know they literally there. agreed nearly everything in it, so that, yeah, that yeah, they'll yeah, revisit yeah. that one. They'll revisit that, that one. That's mad. Um, all right, Crabba boys, are you taking Crabba? I'm a little underwhelmed with the season he's having this mm. season, so I don't want to go too far left because I know he's a brilliant player, but was last season a bit of a flash in the pan? Who knows? I, I think he's good, advocate. but he's not my first choice left wing. wing yeah, I that, I was advocate. You both would like Rafael Leal, right? Yeah. yeah. He's having an extremely underwhelming season. 
But I see more in Liar than I see in Craver. He's, yeah, he's still having a better season than Craver, though. He's not. I, I, I think Liao's better maybe, than Kravar. Maybe not I've statistically, but when I'm watching them... Liao's more he's, of a threat, he, he's, he, Yeah, he's, he's, he, he looks better. He to opens me. up the game for Milan. He's Basically, he's there. Imagine being the only... Uh, do, you know who, do you know who he is, actually? Rafael Liao is what Sadio Mane was, but obviously he hasn't got the impact, but in terms of the style of play. So imagine you've got Giroud and whoever... Centre forward and right wing, and you're the only one that can create space for others. People are going to know how to defend against you better. I think he's really lazy. No, he's not lazy, bro. The Milan system is designed so that he can basically be the he can be the um not the focal point, but when they break, he's the Rashford in a weird way. Like, so when the ball when so when they get the ball, he obviously he tracks back, but it's not going to have to be as I don't know on job as the others. But when the ball gets played forward, Rafael Leal is, is asked to take care of the ball, bro, and create space for others. That's the thing. It's more of like a tactic of everyone knows how Milan plays. Give the ball to Leal. He's the danger, man. He makes things happen. He's the X factor. After what, mm. you're going to know how to defend against you, no matter how great you are. So you definitely... So, all right, let's say we can't get Liao because if if you're saying what you're saying about his release clause, Matt, we ain't. Yeah, I'm that not gonna lie. I don't think we're getting Liao. He's already he's already affirmed his love again for Milan. Literally the other day, he said. Like, they have, said, "Well, about yeah, no. he hasn't got a release clause." I don't know about. Do you think Kravers gonna? I, well, I, I'm, I'll, not, I'll I'm you, not sold on him to be. I'll ask, no, I'll rate him, but I'll ask. I'll ask you both this: Is Kravers an upgrade on Diaz and Gakpo on the left wing? <laughs> It I'm, not, no, I'm not even it, being shady. I'm not even saying that to be shady, by the way. I'm it depends. It depends Man's what version dark of Diaz you're getting. At what ten? Turn it ten. <laughs> it depends what version of Diaz you're getting because we we know Diaz hasn't been performing well recently. Mm. But Diaz is a better player than Kravar overall, in my opinion. I disagree with that. Um, I say he's as a left winger. <clears throat> If we're talking like kind of in a weird way, first season Diaz, no. This Diaz, this number, no, I said this, it's a debate. Cody back, Cody Gapo, we're only going to say yeah right now because Cody's in a slump. And I don't like doing that because Cody's numbers and Cody playing earlier on was better than the Cody of now. So again, it's like, uh, that's, that's a tough one, you know, I'll be honest with you. That's a tough one, I'll be honest. Put it this, it's not a clear cut for me just to go, yeah, boom. Maybe over Cody right now, because he's playing badly, but overall, I don't know. Hmm. Like, we got to look at it stylistically. How does he fit Liverpool? Does he stretch the game? Is he going to be the more the playmaking kind of winger? Like, how does it work for Liverpool? Because let's say, let's just say for argument's sake, Salah <clears throat> was to leave and we got Kravar. I'm not gonna lie, Darwin Nunes needs to start getting. He would have to get like free a game because Matt, Matt, Travis no, not never, a goal scorer. I never presented that as an option, brother. No, I'm just giving you an example of the type no, of player he's. Like we would have to that, that. You even put that in the atmosphere, bro. No, but I'm just giving you an example of the stylistically player because he's not really a goal getter. I'll be real he's though. Not... If, if we sold Salah and got Rafael Leao, I'm, I'm not happy about that either. No, but it wouldn't be no, no. But Liao plays on the left. I'm talking to so I'm saying let's say let's say for uh, plays left as well though. No, what I'm saying is let's say for our argument's sake, yeah, for whatever reason Salah went. Let's just say Salah went. Obviously, I don't want mm. him to go. We know we don't want him to go. He's the king. We want him to stay. But I'm saying let's say he went, yeah. And let's say we got Krava and we brought in another person on the right. That right winger is never going to have the same numbers as Salah, and that right winger probably is not even going to be as predatory, not even close. Then you're going to buy another left winger who arguably his best attribute is his playmaking ability, not his goal scoring. Yeah, I hear that. What I'm saying is the focal point will be literally Darwin. Like, it's all on you, bro. That's what I'm saying. And Jota, sorry. Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm just, I'm just going to give you a, lot, a little statistic to back up what we're all thinking about in terms of how we rate them, like with our own feelings, eye test, whatever, whatever. Um, Krava has nine goals and four assists in the league. Yeah. And he's got one assist in the Champions League with no goals. And then that's it. He ain't got no goals in any other competition he's played in. So you got nine. Okay, that's, that's the so one he's got nine, nine goals and he's got nine goals and five assists. So he's got so a 14 for... GA. Oh, five the... assists. Sorry, five, six, four. Yeah. G yeah. Diaz has got six goals in the Prem with three assists, one goals in one goal in the League Cup, 
two goals in the Europa League. Um, so he has a total of nine goals and three assists. So his GA is 12. So he's two behind in terms of GA. But would you not say that that is much difference in terms of how they're playing? Like, even if it's not how you feel about them or whatever, like even statistically, is is there much difference between the two of them this season? Not much. Not statistically. It's difficult to say because, again, Europa League <laughs> is a step down from Champions League for a start. And also... Seven goals with no... Seven games, so in the Champions League and no goals for a wing forward. That's whack. I'm not. No, I'm no, not saying he's not a good player, but that's whack. Bro. No, I hear that. I hear we that, would but... never let that slide at Liverpool for one of no, our I wingers to have no goals in seven games. But we in have the way more quality in attack than than Napoli. Worse, bro. That really... means he's more relied upon. He needs to be more. But, but that's goals, all bro. they've got. That's all they've got. They got Oshman, bro. No, that's what I'm saying. Craver and Oshman. That's all they've got from an attacking standpoint. Drift can't wait to say Oshman, you know. Yeah, no, yeah, but yeah. people <laughs> told me Oshman's better than um the Nunes. So I'm saying like, hey, know. let's not revisit that. Yeah, bro. let's not. Hey, listen, we know football moves quickly. Let's not do this, fam. Look, look, I said it at the football time. Football quickly. Stood, I, I stood by it. And it's funny now, isn't it? I'd love to have the conversation with people now and see how they feel now. Oh, bro, let's not... No, but it's I'm funny. not going to nope. get into it. We're, we're, no, we're not going to do it now. We're not going to do it now. No, no, we're not. We're not. No, we're not. Because Oshman won a league. We won't do that. We're not going to do it now. We're not, we can't do that. We can't. We're not going to... Last year's last year, bro. But anyway, the point is, I don't know if he's an upgrade on Diaz. I don't think he is, personally. Fair news. I'm going to throw one more name into the equation. Is it Haven't even been linked with him, but loosely linked. But yeah, Oshman's the appearances are very similar as well. Um, Diaz has Osh- got Oshman's actually been out of injury as Kwame's well. Got this season. So a lot of the, a lot of the season, Oshman's been out injured as well, and didn't he have Akon as well? So it's literally just been Kava by himself. Mm. Musiala, should we try and get this young kid who just rejects? Uh, he's another, cold, you know. Uh, listen, he's cold. He's cold. He's cold. Bro, that right there. What does he play though? You see the Kimmich thing? No, no, mate. You find the space. No, it's not <laughs> genuine question. That's a genuine question, though. I, I'll, you tell you find what, I'll tell you what. Where does he play? Musiala, you find the space, bro. I'm playing in left wing. You find the space. Playing in left wing. I'm playing him where he feels he would be best. No, no, I'm not going that far. I am. I'm playing him, I'm playing him left wing. I'll say, where do you think you want to play, bro? Where would you, where do you think you would be the most productive? All right, then. I'm playing, as my 4-2-3-1, my my attack would be Saboza, Lai in the 10, Musiala left wing, either Nunes or Jota. In fact, I'm going to still stick with Jota in his number nine and Salah right wing. Musiala, Jota and Salah with Saboza Lai behind them. Trent and whoever else next to him in, in the pivot. If Alonso was our managers, there's a possibility that we'd play a, uh, the two tens the way he does at Leverkusen. Like, there's a possibility. So, Musiala could play that role as well. I don't think he plays free at the back for Liverpool. No, but I'm saying there's a possibility, though, that that could be what happens, isn't it? I'm just saying, if we get Musiala, oof, done. So, what are the chances of Musiala being able to leave Bayern Munich? Zero. <laughs> he ain't going. <laughs> this is death row. <laughs> it? He ain't going. Not like I be. I mean, he'd have to have some massive fallout with buying and and even then the price would probably be crazy. Bro, that's one of them ones where we would have to do some serious due diligence in terms of we've got to be speaking for Musiala from like last year. Man, you about the contract. Basically, we have to do it with kind of McAllister, but even more groundwork. Did Alonso play with Musiala? No, he couldn't. No, have. I, he, couldn't yeah. have. No, he Alonso couldn't was have. playing with Thiago and flipping. Um, Alonso left the year they won the championship. Jeremy League, Boateng, if I'm not mistaken, mistaken, you know. The COVID mistaken. year when they won the Champions League remember, was his was last it, season. FIFA, if I'm not is mistaken. it FIFA? Just turned 21. I think it was FIFA 13. Yeah. I said man was playing with Jerome Boateng and then man there. Alonso. Am I right, people? Was it? Was it? Their man Jerome still Boateng? love Alonso at Bayern Munich. They don't really like Pepper Bayern Munich still. And Lewandowski and Ribery and Robin. 
Yeah. Unless I'm going when, mad. When does Musiala's contract run out? Oh, 2026. I mean, in the summer, he'll have two years left. Yeah, yeah. Man said Musiala was like 14. Look, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to kill everybody's <laughs> hopes of Musiala coming to Liverpool. It's already dead drift. You don't have to kill the host, man. It's done. It's dead. Bro, man's really man just going around. Dead, the, dead. Man, Dr- Drift, he's really just going around the bal- buying a party, just popping balloons for no reason. <laughs> like, <laughs> at a kid's birthday, man, just got the draw pin, you know. Just... <laughs> who, who, who is the number one elite kid collector club right now? Real Madrid. He'll end up there. Nah, I don't think so, you know. He'll end up there. I They'll have like Camavinga, Shurmeni, Bellingham. And that's it. No, nah, I'd actually, I wouldn't even watch football anymore. That's his pointless. <laughs> I'm telling pr- you, it's, it's Tony right, Cruz though. is coming to an end. Modric is about to retire. They are just going to go and get Musiala and they will have everything. I remember they they're getting Mbappe in the summer. Lord and they're getting have Mbappe. Mercy. There you go, bro. And that's how Real Madrid get back. I, at I reckon speed. there's more chance Musiala ends up at City. No, no. If the Real, Real Madrid, Madrid want him, they'll get him. It's whether Real Madrid want him. If Real Madrid want him, he will go Real Madrid. But they're the number one elite talent collectors right now, Matt. So why wouldn't they want him? It's they're trying good. to remake what they just had from the last yeah, 10 yeah, years. Yeah. When they had Cruz or Modric and all those bad boys. for all, They're just trying to do that again. They want all with the, all the other news. Yeah, bruv. They want it all, bruv. They'll get... Bruv, he'll go there, bruv, and it'll be done. It'll be absolutely finished. Oh, yeah, that is Mbappe true. Madrid are trying Mussiano. to get Davis. They're trying to get Davis as well. Yeah, yeah just got go. a point still. It's game He'll over. He'll go Real Madrid, man. He'll if go he ever goes to Real Madrid, though, could you imagine a team statue? <laughs> Davis, <laughs> Musiala, Shuameni, Camavinga, Vinny Jr., Mbappe. Fam, what? Yeah, Bellingham. Rodrigo, what, 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 what are we doing? Do you know what I'm starting to think now? That, that new Champions League Hendrick format is just well? made for Real Hendrick? Madrid. Did you say Hendrick? I didn't even say I didn't even say injury. That that new room that new format is just made for Real Madrid, you know. But what about show off. but what about a transit to show? Off. But what about oh, their yeah. defense though? Valverde. What Real Madrid's defense? defense? Yeah. They got all right, so they got Alaba, Militao, Rudiger. They're obviously they all of them are a little bit older now. They're starting to get on the wrong side. All right, do you know who they'll go for? Oh, how do you how do you how do you get at their defense calf? They've got all of them players in midfield. You but you're acting like they won't go and get defenders. Shall I be real with you? I think they could go and punch team. defenders. There's a defender we've got that I really worry might get his head turned one day. If you even say it, I swear to God, I'm not gonna I'm a, say it. I'm not gonna I'm say smash it. up this whole league team. <laughs> <laughs> I smash up my own stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Ram. Shout out to Ram. That's who I hope they go for. Don't yeah, even me. say the other person's name. I know you're no, I'm not going to say his name. That's who I hope they Don't go for. Don't even think about it. And do you want to know why I hope that's the case? Because let Arsenal fans hype him up. Because Real Madrid love a star in it. They love that. Like, let's just keep our one under the cush. Let Arsenal keep propping him up. And he's this and he's that. And rare, rare, rare. Plus, that brother yeah. you spoke about, he said, because I'm not leaving any time soon. I've got a lot to do here. He understands the assignment. Lord, please, if ever I... I <laughs> <That's you know? laughs> Bro. I said, Lord, please, you know. <laughs> Bro, I don't think you understand. If we was to lose... No, we do, Matt. We nah, do. Nah, man. We can't. I can't. We that can't, I can't. That can't even enter the mind, fam. We know. Because that would just we. we no, no, no. I, I'm with you, guys. We're only on six hundred and forty likes. Come on, guys, man. Eight hundred, man. What's going but, on? Yeah, by the I'm end of the show, guys, like, we're, we're really hoping to be on eight hundred likes. Please let that happen, guys. Please. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So let it be Saliba, man. He just signed a contract extension in July, but let it be him. Oh, you know what? What about their other hype, you, Gabriel? Nah, Saliba's he... better. Saliba's better. No, we know, but just trying to do the whole. As long as they get up. an Arsenal centre back, and not they can replace. They can, they can replace Gabriel pretty sim, pretty easily. Hype them up, keep on. Yeah, hype. I would say easily. Saliba. I would say easily, but they can replace him easier than Saliba. Easier, easier. No, but maybe. But the Arsenal people have been telling me that Gabriel's um having a better season than him, so he might be a better defender than him. No, he's he's having a better season, but he ain't a better defender. We know this. Come on, Drew. Keep hype him up. Gabriel and Saliba, hype it up. Hype it up. Whoa. 
<laughs> Leiva looking like a Galactico. It's true, you know. It looked like a Galactico still, you know. Hey, Madrid for the Galactico. Perfect. Saliba's right there. You get what Perfect. I'm saying? I hate to say it. Uh, Dear Mande, I think for Sporting's another one that Romaji might look at. He's very good. Yeah, he's. I read Saliba well. and the other name I won't mention are the ones I think Real Madrid are probably looking at the most. Oh, God. And he's French as well. Flip, say, you know what? Let, let's not even. Nah, we, we can't. We can't even let that enter the realm, fam. I'm going to be honest. Can't. Can't. Nope. nope and all nope. of these things only worry me because Klopp's leaving. If Klopp was staying, I wouldn't be worried. About I know because it, it could be. I know, I know because that's when players get unsettled as well when the manager leaves, and then you're, you're thinking yeah. if a new manager comes in and then let's like, say he doesn't play you as much, you might start doubting your f- oh, bro. I, I mm. can't, yeah, yeah, bro. Listen, I'm not gonna lie, I'd actually be willing to go to war so that our player don't go there. You know? Oh, bro, I'd be going to war with everyone if that yeah. ever if that ever happened, bro. Can't add that. Right, let's help these supers while you guys get us to 800 likes, right? All right. LFC Network. Big up LFC Network. Says big up the panel. Matt. I asked Callum and Drift on Friday a calling show. Which of the um, which of the Migos group each of us are? Because I call you guys a copish Migos. Which one did... Who did we um, say? I don't really know the Migos very well. Like, not they, like mem- that. Remember, so I remember it, you so and me was quite... arguing about who's Takeoff. And bless who, one, of, one of them, the one of them passed, one of them passed as well, isn't it? Yeah, Takeoff, yeah, well. Takeoff, takeoff yeah. innit? Yeah, but he yeah. was the quiet one, so it was out of me and Cal who's Takeoff, who's the most quiet. Excuse me, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Facts. Hold on, hold on. Repeat that, please. One of you not... said your Takeoff because one of you is the most quiet. Yeah, yeah, because me and Cal would it's between me and Cal who's the most quiet out of us three. So who which one of us will be take off? Am I am I missing something here, people? <laughs> I don't check I'm... the statistics, yeah. I think these men took more on this show than me. No, but that's not no, no, and it's, that's not just what it's no, about. No, what it is is my demeanor might be you're loud, loud when I say something. Bro, when I say laugh, something, when I no, when I, itself, that's bro. when I say, but I'm quiet though. When I say something, it's loud, but I'm quiet. <laughs> no, you're not quiet, man. There's no chance. That no is chance. so. Bro, who I, chat's even saying it, bro? I'm quiet in comparison to you guys. Someone just said Matt is offset. So which one's offset then? The one that's cheating on Cardi the B. One... In it. <laughs> Uh, Off- no, offset no, is the no, one who puts his business much. all out there. Bro. No, we didn't do much. We didn't offset? do much. I, 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 so there you go then. I'm Quavo. Matt's offset. No, we Cal's didn't do much. Off. No, bunny. I'm, we didn't do much. <laughs> <laughs> Matt said, I'm the one that just just, just tells everyone everything, bro. Matt's, Matt's business is all out there, bro. No, <laughs> no. <Offset. Hey. laughs> that can't be. Who's who's um? Qu- who, what's Qu- Quavo in it? I'm yeah, more I'm like Qua- Quavo. I'm, 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 I'm Quavo then. No, I've got people. Who's Quavo? Who's Quavo? To be fair, I, see the, I don't know. Really we'll let the chat decide. Egos. Someone said Cow's <laughs> offset. No, that's one person. Most of the same are saying I'm take off. Uh, Paul says Quavo is drift emotional. Quavo had a sweet. What? Oh, yeah, he was with Sweet Unit, but I would never date. No, nah, people like are moving mad. They're not even, they're just saying Matt is Rick Ross, Matt is. Tri- <laughs> <laughs> Ain't even Kevin on topic, Ross. you know. Yeah, bro. Are oh, you a lot of moving? Oh, yeah, Matt is Quavo because he's like, Bar- see, because I like, Bar- yeah, I'm, I'm Quavo, bro. But you know why you don't want to be Quavo, though? Because Quavo's the one who wants to go solo the most. Man's got that selfishness, bro. I see you try to do that, Drew. <laughs> but I'm and still I definitely, I, <laughs> I see you, you try to do that. You might not, you might might not know it, but if you think the Chelsea contracts are long, the copy contracts, they're they're built different, bro. You man ain't. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, man ain't getting out, bro. We're really locked in for life, you man. Yeah, and Matt is. <laughs> let, 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 let's a make it easier. Fun. Let's make it easier. Matt is Quavo. We're, we're D Matt block, and then no one is upset up. with who we end up with. <laughs> Ice Cube? What? There's nothing wrong with being Ice Cube, bro. What's it's all funny like? jokes with Madame I saying I look like Dembele in that, innit, Matt? It's all funny jokes with <laughs> saying I look like Dembele Matt is Quavo, that, take off his cow and drift his offset. No, no, no. My business ain't out there, mate. 
My business is definitely not out there. So hey, being I'm Ice Cube is, is is great. There's nothing wrong with being. No, Ice but I'm just saying for the Migos, isn't it? For the Migos. No, with D Block, man, forget Migos. With D Block, then no one's bothered about who we are. We're all three Gs. We move. Fair point. Although I knew I, I would know who we are if we were, though. I'm intrigued to know, go on. You're Jada, I'm Styles, Matt's um, Sheik. Why'd you say that? Because Matt's no. the bully. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, no. This He's got a point. He's got a point. 100%. You're the bully, bruv. So you're Sheik. 100%. I'm the bully. 100%. You're the you bully. You man are doing way too you much. Forget we've seen your screen, bruv. Hold Matt's on. The... Me or screen? Bro. Hold on, wait there, wait there, wait there. Oh no, just you weren't even there. You know what I'm gonna say, Cow, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, hold right. on, hold on, bro. You are worse than me. Shut up, shut up. <laughs> don't, bro. Don't let me come right to your house now. You know you're chatting <laughs> nonsense. That's the bully. There That's you the go, bride. bro. You literally. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Cow is let the biggest out the bag, bag, bro. Man said, don't I've let me never, come to your house I, now, Jif, you know. That's Jif, chic styles, bro. I mean, that, that, that's Jif, chic I've news, never bro. seen Kyle switch like this in a second. Because remember, Drift, I'm, I'm where I am. No, I no, Matt, noise. I think no, tell the thought, no, tell the fool, Matt, you came to it after about five, ten minutes of an altercation, bro. My, mm. my patience was actually brilliant that day. But they just kept on pushing and pushing. Yeah, but think of what you said and how you responded. You turned up and was on no. smoke immediately, bro. I wasn't. No, but obviously, it's, no, but it's worth it, man. Obviously, man's got a sh man. I'm deep on that block, in it, buddy. All right, whoever it is, I'll be deep on. But you got to remember, there's no poor members of D Block. Yeah, yeah. It's nah, an elite yeah, group, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. it's all good in the hood. Uh, yo, what's good? Says I wouldn't worry about the about no sporting director. I doubt. I wouldn't worry about no sporting that. I doubt we are even already speaking with Alonso. I would be shocked if Billy Hogan is not already handing, handling talks seven. We are definitely speaking with players, even without a sporting director. I think we must be. Yeah, we are. We must be because we can't just be just sitting around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Guys, I don't, I, I don't want to be a Debbie Downer and bring people down. And everyone's allowed their opinions. But guys. There's a lot of copium going on, in my opinion, with like thinking about players and whatnot. We have no director of football. We don't know who our manager is going to be. And we don't even know who's staying yet. Nobody is being taught to come in. Nobody. Yeah, they're not going to be no, able but to scout. Yes, yeah, scouts will be I scouting. agree. I'm not, I know well, we'll be mean. scouting all of these people. No, no, but, what, no, no, but we'll, we'll speak to players. Yeah, loose conversation, we'll speak to players, bro. but it's more about. Would you be interested in coming to Liverpool? Obviously, they're going to yeah. say, like, we don't know X, Y, Z, but they want to gauge the player, bro. 100. Yeah, yeah. Groundwork still has to be done, bro. <laughs> Bob, you yeah, think but Arsenal groundwork is different in... to being What is it? Barry weird. Hunter and something. What's it? What are the names there? Dave Fall. What's it? Dave Fellow. Fallows Fellow. and Fellow. Barry, Barry. Being strongly yeah. linked with someone is different to just laying down some groundwork, though. Drift, we, we ain't, definitely we ain't strongly linked with I'll anybody, I'd be shocked guys. if we didn't no, have no conversation. we strongly linked with anyone, but we're definitely doing groundwork. We have to do groundwork. We have to, bro. We have to. I don't know, you know. I think we're just preparing for the uh, for the new and and getting used to without the old. I don't think we're caring about who's coming in right now. I don't I think, think they're talking to, to anyone. Uh, H, we need to beat City. We must not, but we must not lose. Rest of the league ain't got none for us against them or Arsenal. Pure dross and leaps behind. Could be right there, H, bro. Mm. Jamrock <laughs> says Arsenal victory against us. Uh, propelled them with confidence. Yeah, very true. He did. He really did. You're right, John. That game and the Luton game are two most frustrating games this yeah, season. Yeah, because it's the manner we lost. Arsenal was horrible, bro. Yeah. Kind of <clears throat> the Herbs, man. Big up yourself for becoming a YouTube member of ours. Big, big, up, up, big, big, up, big up, big up. Promo says, boys, if we had Walker and City had Trent, do we win more Prems? We lose Trent's creativity and assists, but... Do we beat Real Madrid in the Champions League final? No, we 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 win more trophies with Trent. All right, fun fact. Because we had no other creativity. Who started like the press against Real Madrid and Robert. we will... There you go. And Virgil. Virgil was doing up stank. So it wasn't even really Trent. As I was going to say, I, I still feel Trent like it wasn't... Bit. Don't worry, Trent was kind of... Yeah, he was involved, but no... I mean, that's more Robbo for me. 
If you were going to watch Robber, Robber wanted some one man thing. Yeah. Rest promo, promo, promo is very devious with that Usher Alicia Keys DP, you know. Oh, just seen it. Oh. Very devious. Very I'm devious. I should be moving mad for a while, you know. Very like, yes, yeah. But he's gone for a lot, though. He has. Like, I'm I wouldn't regret it. No, but he's I'm gone for a lot, though. Like, you know, like, like um, my missus ain't going to his concert. There's no, very few things I put definitely. my foot down with. She ain't, if she's going, he's I'm gone there. through a few deaths. If she though. goes on stage, I'm going on stage as well. You're gonna have to wind up through a few deaths, though, bro. You know, if she if she though. if she says she's going on stage, ask her to give the ring there. And just, Brother, yeah. I'm going on stage. If you're gonna wind up with the missus, you better be willing to wind nah, up. Nah, do you know what? I'll just bro. go home and just <laughs> leave happening. the keys. Leave the keys, and man will just yeah, because it's done. Bro, can't yeah. You're not you're not doing me like that. The missus from behind and all that. Look, I, 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 I ain't, well, I ain't no bad man, but she knows she ain't going on the stage. Yeah, she, she can, knows. No yeah. missus of mine is going on no fucking Can't stage. <laughs> You're mad, bro. You're mad. I'm gonna be real. I'm gonna get rushed by Usher's and people. And take me for idiot, like, nah, brother. I'm gonna, no I'm gonna way, get rushed bro. by Usher's people because I'm definitely throwing the first punch. What's Alicia Keys' husband name again? What's his name again? Swiss Beats. Swiss Beats. I can't even lie, fam. I I I don't even understand how man can think that's that's blessed. No, but to be fair, he gave her the most minorist of her. Like I think people made a lot oh, more of that. At least no, nah, you're not gonna lie. I love sure? you too, like my brothers. If one of you two hug the missus, nah. like I'm strangling like home. We used to strangle. No, but we're not performers, fact. are we? It's a totally. Why would no, I be but no, but he said as a performer. Like that, All right, let's it's say a that man's totally a performer. Oh, no, bro, right. bro, let's say that I'm a performer. Yeah. A man's doing that to one of your gal. You think that's you think that's calm? But I'm sure. No, I don't think it's calm. You, you but think, I think that's think, calm? I do. I don't think it's calm, but I think it was blown out. Well, the director could tell me. I bet. Nah, it's not. I can't do that, fam. I just think it was blown out of proportion. That's all. No, nah. it wasn't. Did you see the smile on 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 the Lisa Key's face? He knows what he's doing, bro. You almost wrecked Kiki Palmer's relationship. No, nah. this is us. His thing. It's like he's going on a revenge tour, bro. Yeah. Why is he coming to London, bro? Was he need out of here, bro? Stay your ass in Atlanta, bro. Oh man, the um, smile from Usher was yeah, crazy. Mean, bro. Man felt um, like he was some kid again or something. Lit vibe says Trent made a name by literally pocketing Sane and CR7 in a Champions League final. Let's not forget that. It's just unfortunate that is that he is the benchmark. Yeah. And that, those are the days when he enjoyed defending as well. Yeah. yeah. Um, big up to the herds, man. You just become a member and also, yo, gifted. big up, big up, man. Hey, big up, man. Big up, respect, man. man. You guys have been brilliant gifting memberships. And all that. No, they have, like, man. The community is like, outstanding. Been like, so it's been outstanding. Like, this humbled by you the guys, best. man. Um, and you're all just, tuning in to watch Matt carry me and Cal in FIFA, so it's gonna be fun for real. Another right. reason why you're chic, bro. Yeah, for real. You're going to oh, be carrying. Matt, when I say, bruv, you are going to be carrying us. Me especially, bro. I, I'm i going to be the Maguire at the back, bruv. You better be mad with the goals, bro, because it's it's going to be bad. Bro, uh, Matt can do so much, you know. Matt, what you want to do? What, Gerard, what, 04, 05 performance every game? Yeah, yeah bro. You see that Champions League final? That's just gonna be a rainy night at Sheffield United, bro. <laughs> that's, just, that's just that's the performance you're gonna have to pull out week in, week out on FIFA. Sorry in advance. Uh, Joshua mate, Bray says you, Sky you, Monday Night Football, thirty six minutes. Carragher. What did he? Did he? I don't know. What did Carragher anyone said? some light on what he did? Did Carragher do something mad again? I'm not sure. I'll check it out though. <clears throat> um, Hate says we beat City, cook Arsenal. So we beat City. City cook Arsenal puts us four and five points clear. Even that's I, not a lot I, of points. Though. That's, that you're right. that's still mad though. Like four, four or five points we take. And, right now, and here's the thing as well, guys. We can't keep acting like there aren't any other teams that could possibly take points. Man though. United away worries me. I'm just saying that. We can't, we've can't. we still got to play Tottenham, you know. Because they did a low block team. They won't even look to, and you guys, look to win the game. We still got to go to Villa Park. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? It, it but that's not the game that scared me, you know. It's the like how it's the my, Man United. But Man United will play anti football. Yeah, I know. They know what they're gonna bruv, they won't even attack us, bruv. It's gonna be the it'll be so frustrating, you don't understand. But yeah. 
<laughs> H, we can't bring that up. <laughs> I feel like that's that, that, that should be a soundbite, you know. H, we can't bring that one. <laughs> but what, no, but what I will say, H, is we have to like Usher's actually been relinquished from that rumor now. We've got we like we've we've got to like you know what I mean that was a rumor. It was it was wrong. It was fake news. That is fake news. wild. You we know. can't um yeah we can't put Usher in that in that bracket that anymore, is... bro. But that is wild. H. Wild. <laughs> wow. H. Um, Dean said people oh, forget man. that Trent was a complete right back not long ago. He even faced big teams and players. Uh, he did his job. He wants to let me feel now, hence the attitude. I agree with that. Yeah, yeah. I agree with that. I agree with that. I agree with that. Um, lit vibes. The international break might affect them, their momentum if the game is played now. Arsenal will win, but international break comes at the wrong time. That's true oh, as well. Oh, international break. Before. Okay, okay, okay. I hear you. We don't know how to players come back from international break as well. True. Uh, Peterson. It's fatiguing them, Jenny. Um, I take your bet. Easy money. City are winning. We'll talk, Peterson, and we'll talk, bro. Shout, Jamie Phillips. Football chats going to subscribe to Jamie's channel. Up, I just Jay. want something amazing. Tell us more, Jay. Tell us more, bro. Big up, Jay. That is a proper teaser, bro. Yeah, I know. That's a cliffhanger. On yeah. But you know what? You know what? For him to call it something special after yeah. winning thirty two k early in the yeah, season, yeah, I yeah. got a feeling he might have just done a madness. You know, um, he might have just won like fifty or something. That draw of United, that draw of United at Anfield. So oh, I forgot about that one as well. Yeah. Oh, I forgot about that one. What about the draw to Luton? Yeah, that's what. I was, yeah, three three worst performances for me this season and worst results. I've got to be honest with you. A draw at home to Man U is actually worse than a draw away to Luton. Nah, it's not. No, it is. It's not, Drew. It I don't is. even know anymore. It's, it's, Ars- yeah. Arsenal needed seven minutes of stoppage time to get a winner against but Luton. One, no, but what I'm saying is that's how difficult Luton away. Yeah, is and that with Man, Man United, Man United were like a toenail away from getting a winner at Emirates, bro. Manchester United, where are you? No, but they lost that game three one in the end, bro. Yeah, because remember, Garnacho scored, made it two one, and then it got disallowed. Then Rice scored a deflected goal, and then. They were chasing the game and Jesus made it 3-1. Plus, you you got to remember the four Man United were in before we played them. They were horrendous form-wise before we played mm. them. Bruv, both results were as bad as each other. But, bruv, Luton are like, what, 19th in the league? But we should be... No, back. yeah, but I, I, I think if you look at their heart, their desire, their organisation and all that stuff, I think there was... that that like In that moment, I felt that they were a harder team than Man United. At Tactics home. were all wrong that day. Clock were wrong that day. We we should have we should have beat we should have beat Man United at home. Yeah, bro. club guy run that day for real. I can't even lie, it's frustrating. But uh, Jamrock says 80, 98, 99 season, <clears throat> four points between one, two, and third place. Oh, that's a point. I'm trying to remember who those teams were. I, wasn't What's it? that? I'll be honest. I barely oh. remember eight, 98, 99. I'm trying season. to remember. Yeah, to that. I was pretty young then. Man United won the league that year. Oh, yeah, it's very nice, but I'm trying to think of the, the team. Ar- Arsenal would have been one of the teams. Who was the other team? Could it Newcastle? have been us? So that might have been... Was that the year Newcastle bottled it? What year no, did Newcastle, Newcastle bottle Newcastle bottled 96, 90, 95, 96. I can't remember, you know. 96, 97. I bet I can't, generally can't remember. Oh, Chelsea. Ram saying it was Chelsea. Was it Chelsea? Yeah. Them boy there. Chelsea, okay. Um, Mario says, for F sake, let's not for get we are top four a reason. This is this done for sure. Game set and match will be an unforgettable year. Clock for life. I hear that. I hear all of that. I hear all of that. <laughs> that was a quality tweet. Or post, shall I say, Mario? Well done, bro. Um, the Herbs man says, I agree with Cal. Liverpool first, Arsenal second, City third. I hope that is the case. Sam. Um, RSV says, Wasn't 08 09 season title race exciting as well? It was. There's Liverpool United. It, yeah, Liverpool. Yeah. Again, I yeah, don't think that, I don't think that was a race, to be honest, that season. But we were kind of playing catch up. Yeah, we were. So it was um, a bit different. Says, you know I mean? Would you trade Bowen 
West Ham for our Diaz? No, no. no one's would, right wing, one left wing. Yeah, yeah, it wouldn't even make sense anyway, yeah. Fair no. No. Cal? I'm just reading the supers. No, nah, Cal went mad quiet, you know. No, There's your mean. answer, bro. No, it's not. I'm reading it. I didn't give an answer. I did not give an answer. Yeah, but no answer is actually just as bad, though, you know. You'd be saying that with chess. But you're not, you're not saying because you've done, you've done that if you pull Stevie to one side and went, Stevie, did you eat my cake? And he just went, <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing because you would actually do that if he did that. That's it, just don't say nothing. There you go, That's bro. what I'm saying, bro. You didn't say a word. Um, uh, Jade Activist says Leverkusen has money, no need to sell um, their buyer. Oh yeah, they're owned by um by the organization. Um and, I know, but it's about the player wanting to move on though. That's yeah. the difference. All right, I'll say this I'll on the Bowen Diaz thing. I'm not shutting down the idea of it. Because we've got a lot of players who can play left wing. And if everyone's fit and on form, Diaz is the must start in left wing and Nunes is. Good for you, Cal. Good for you. Bro. You basically... I was going to say something, but I'm kind of incriminating myself. But do you remember when I used to talk about as much as I rate Diaz? That's what I'm going to say. I'll leave it there. Remember that sentence, though? Here's the thing. Much, I think as Diaz, much as I rate Diaz, that's Diaz for me, has the potential to be our best attacker. That's how highly I rate his talent. No, because he'll never be better than Jota. No, 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 but I don't. That's what I'm saying. I don't think it could be better than them. But I think, and I don't think it could be better than Nunes now. I don't think it'd be better. No, than but Nunes I think now. he no. has the. I think he has the natural talent to be better than both. Yeah, that. But that's talent, bro. He no, doesn't that's what I'm have. Saying. That's what, but I don't right. think he'll be able to accomplish being better than those two. It's weird, yeah. I hate to say it. This isn't. And this I'm a Diaz disrespect. fan, by the way. Before anyone, no, so am out. I. But I look at it as like him and and Nunes are like reverse in terms of. I think Nunes is like progressing, understanding. Of space, decision making has improved. I think Diaz is the opposite. I think they kind of swap. Like it's almost like Diaz is having Nunez's first season. If that makes sense, do you get? Do you get what I mean? Yeah. And that's I not hope. a disrespect to, to to um to Diaz, but I'll be honest with you. If there was one area of the forward line that we could improve, you can't improve on Salah, and I don't think people would want to improve on Nunez. By default, are you not trying to say it's not Diaz? And I've been I, saying I, this from as much as I rate it because yes, no, he's arguably more talented than all of the forwards. Yeah, he is. That's what I'm saying. But, he is. But it's about your output and are you decisive? Don't get me wrong. Diaz has had games where he's been amazing, but he's also had games when he's been a bit meh. And that's me and, not having a go at Diaz because I think on a on his day, Diaz is unplayable. But I've seen. Too many games, in my opinion, where I've gone, no, nah, you gotta do better now, bro. You gotta do better. I'm gonna go a step further. Mm. I'm still starting Jot as my number nine. I mean, I don't even really know about that in terms of like who's the better number. I say who's the better. No, tell a lie, Jot is a better number nine than Darwin, but I also don't want to hamper Darwin's progress this season. So therefore, no, 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 no. But so, but so, what you're saying, Darwin as to what I'm saying, I'm playing Jota and Nunes and Salah are our best forwards. Yeah, would you say that? Yes, yeah, Salah, Jota, and Nunes. Yeah. So, is Diaz and Gapo the ones that are kind of like they're not? Do, do, do you I, get to the... I, I, you're gonna put me. I don't gonna say, bro. but here, here, my take on it though. As much as I think Diaz is easily more talented than Gapo, Gapo ain't had the same chances. He's had recently, he's had recently, but he's been sticking out the joint. But then so is Diaz. We can't act like Diaz ain't been sticking out the joint this season. If we are, then we're lying. And I know there's a reason for it. But yeah, those two can be improved upon if we really wanted to. But I'm cool with them both. That's what I'm trying to say. 
<laughs> hey says Papa Diaz is an antidote to match judge. <laughs> Big up Papa Diaz, bro. Every Big time I Diaz. see him in the stand, he's so yeah, lovely. Yeah, I know, cool. man. To see him just supporting his son is yeah, wholesome, isn't it? Like. Don't get me yeah. wrong. I want Diaz to improve. What I'm saying is, though, and that's my that's the thing. He, I feel like he can improve. Because remember, he's our starting left winger. He's not like he's some off the bench guy, you know. Remember, he's yeah. not doing what Cody used to do. He's the starting left winger. Can you like, let me know when you finish talking about this? Because it's oh, a no face, no case. Bro. Yeah, yeah. Let, me, let, me, let me move on. Let me move on. Mm. Um, Uncle Rod says, big up copies on the road to 3,000, currently at 2,908. People, you know what to do. Uh, you don't know what you to do. You know what to do, people. I'm going to find the link to Uncle Rod's channel and you know what to do. Looking to get Uncle Rod up more subscribers. So, people, I'm going to put Uncle Rod's link in the chat. And for those of you who haven't, please go and subscribe to Uncle Rod's channel. Get him up to 3K tonight. Indeed. That'd be amazing. Um, the Ram stand, big up Ram as always. One year down Saturday, I was kicked out. Big up Mumsy. You kicked huh? out. Oh, shit, Ram, are you actually being serious, bro? One year down, Saturday's kicked up. No, Sorry, no, bro, one year one down, second. Saturday I was kicked. What? Ram, is that are you being real, bro? Yeah, I don't really know. Has Ram been hacked? That's what I'm thinking. Or was this real? I'm not too sure. Right, message me right now to let me know if this is actually if you. that's the real you in it. Yeah, message me as well, bro. Is that the real you, bro? How yeah. I let me know. Let me know, bro. Let me know. <clears throat> Yo, what's good? It says uh Lenny Yoro is who we're really looking at at center back. And funny enough, we've been reliably linked with Diamande today. We do love the Portuguese market, we do facts. Do. Oh, do you know what? I think Ram's joking. Oh, because of Forest fans at the because, house. Didn't yeah, because we Mom because we Forest beat Forest. Yeah, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's because I was thinking that. What? Um. Oh no, hold on. He's saying it here. He said his dad kicked him out after the result, but then his mom told him off. So he oh said, yeah, he said it's all fun. Because okay. mum's the one that got him back in. Oh okay, yeah, I get it now. I get it now. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm thinking like, what? Oh no, can you imagine how mad his yard must have been when his dad thinks they're getting a point? Their Ram start celebrating with the win. That must have been mad. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Shout out to Ram's dad because I'm doing the same. Oh. Yeah, oh, bro, he's I'm out. Doing on the yeah. I'm doing yeah. the same. I'm doing the same. If my son is gloating in my face after a 99 minute win or whatever it was, yeah, I'm not even gonna lie. He's gonna have to come out the yard still. <laughs> yeah, he's keeping, he's keeping rough, that goes about saying. He's gonna have to build one of his cousins oh. or aunties or something. <laughs> oh, man. No, big up, Ram. I'm not even gonna lie, Ram. You're a brave man as well, still. You're a brave man to be celebrating in Pops' face still. Uh, Peterson says, Drift is definitely Kenny Lattimore. I don't know who that is. I don't even know who that is. I know uh, I know, I know. I Peterson know ain't a disrespectful person. No, so no, no. I don't think it's going to no, be somebody. No, I don't know. Who, I yeah, I don't know who, that is, who it is. Kenny who? Le Kenny Lattimore. 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 How do you spell that? L -A -A -T. Oh, hold on a minute. I'll, I'll see it. Well, the brother looks great for his age for a start, so... Does he look like you? Not really. You have a ballet still, but... He ain't a bad-looking guy, so I'm not even taking it as shade, but, like, I don't you, quite man. think... Him and, his uh, wife, him, him and his wife look like they've got a great family. There's no shade there. I'll take it. I don't know who he is. He's a singer. I don't know any of his songs or any of his music or anything, but... There's, there's no shade in it. There's no shade in it. Little uh, little famous said, thing. Could there be a shock departure in the summer? Yeah, Klopp just still hasn't sunk in yet. Yeah, it could Klopp be another one. You never know. You never know. Uh, Klopp better be the only one, bro. No, I, I, I know I know who the shock departure would be, but we just don't want it to be real. It's not happening. He ain't going. 
um hds 96 has become a member big up yourself big up big up big up big up um jamrock says it was still mostly trent's fault matt you capping you capping what was trent's fault real madrid the real madrid goal champion no i I think you need to look back at it again jamrock robbo (laughs) robbo literally ran up to near the goalkeeper and thought that that was okay and they they ran down that whole side so yes obviously events happened and Trent should have kept up with Vinny Jr but Robbo exposed us soon as that thing was in motion that was it I think it was 40% Trent 35% Robbo and 25% Virgil Hold on, so they, who 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 were you giving more more thought in it on? Trent, just you still think that's more Trent? Yeah, because there was time to recover after we messed up the press with Robert. The only reason I won't say that, and he, Trent he never gets a once lot of slack shoulder. for being out of position and when we're counting and when he inverts. Robbo is supposed to be our reliable left back. Yeah, Robbo flies up the pitch, bro. And leaves the pitch wide open, <laughs> and they literally do what all they literally do what Man City <laughs> did to Man United with an overload. First, the Robo exposed us like an episode of Panorama, you know. <laughs> Bro, you ain't lying, fam. No, oh, I'm gonna shout out to Jamie. I was watching one of my friends come around to see me and, and the little ones yesterday. Yeah, He's lying, an awesome fan, and he said he was watching the show about. Oh, uh, it must have been. It must be on Saturday when Jamie you dropped a line about um, the missus and a Chinese buffet. He said he hasn't laughed that hard in a while, and he's not a person who really laughs a lot as well. So Jay, you're going for that, bro. Yeah, that I, I remember that. Really, because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then man will literally take an hour to literally shred the story that someone had to just expose everything on top yeah, to bottom. Bro. Yeah, but I still I still think Trent's the most at full, but not by. Him. By miles, I think it's Robbo, man. I've no, I don't. I don't. I, if you think definitely. that, I can't. I wouldn't sit bro, there and be Robbo like, Robbo gets bro. exposed so badly. I remember we weren't even inverting them times there. I hear it, but I'm telling you, Robbo. <clears throat> listen, but I understand you, why I, you might think Trent. I, because... I don't know. H, man. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, God. Nah, bro. I don't even remember us talking about it for man to be confirming whether it's a rumor or not. What the fuck? Oh, talk about Usher. Oh, the Usher thing. Yeah. Oh, hate. Oh, hate, man. Hate, 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 hate. I don't know who's the bigger menace, Matt or H? It's H, it's H. Oh, definitely H. Bro. Yeah, it's H. H is the biggest mess menace uh, around. I don't I'm not even Oh, no, it. Matt will get you copyrighted in a heartbeat, bro. <laughs> uh, I... You know what's so mad? I, I don't even we went, know, bro. I bet if we went back, I don't think I've got the most copyright strikes. You definitely have, Matt. No, 100%. no, I don't. Who is it then? Go. I'm not going to say names. But Matt it ain't is... me. It Matt ain't is... me, bro. It's definitely it It's got to be you, Matt. You, it's not, bro. <laughs> It's, I kid you not, it's actually not. Bro, we you see, think we it's have... me. <laughs> That's what I'm going to say. We literally sat here and watched you do it about a week ago. Bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, that was last week. I owned that. I would have loved, loved to have seen his face when I, I put the message you. in the group. I, I guarantee yeah, that's you. Last week, I owned that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's last week. But that's me. But, bro, I know what I want to get. Bro, you your last strike. Matt. All I'm gonna say is go watch the tapes, bro. The That's only thing I will say, if anyone's got any more than you, it might be me, but mine's not as blatant as yours. Oh, I really, even... bro? You will literally be like. So imagine, right. so my, so I mine's more like... blatant, but you have more than me. Potentially, I don't. Have more than, I don't, I don't even know if that's a fact, though, Matt. I but don't. the thing is, I get where Cal's coming from because you'll be like, "You man, I know we're gonna get a strike for this, but <laughs> boomer, you just press the button." But <laughs> no, we'll be like, bro, "What I'm are you doing, bro?" I'm giving you a warning. I'm giving you a warning. What are you talking no, about? No, but bro, if there's you, any man. risk, you don't do I'm it. I'm warning you, man. What are you talking about? I'm saying, you man. I literally was say, "Did I hear me?" I was saying, "You man, you're gonna do it." And then we, do you think we can play this thing because it's got? And then, and then it'll no, be like, oh, no, now. you can't you do, do that. No, red, you, do red, that red. No, you do that now, man. That's you cool. do that now. But we've got about 18 copyrights just off Ibu signing, bro. <laughs> 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 no, let's take your liberty because man, I didn't even know. And I didn't even know you could, the, the, the flipping, 
the the video team was gonna get fed up, man. I didn't even so know. people are saying this is like Chelsea trying to convince us they didn't fuck with FFP. <laughs> That's nah, cool though, it's cool, it's cool. You know what though? It's all right, it's all right. Because the statistics, yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm telling you. Kobe, right? yeah. You got a transfer ban in coming, Matt. That's all it is. Cow's no, you see the thing is, Cow, you see, Cow's got a few more than you realize, you know. No, I wouldn't even name favorite, names. But mine aren't from neglect, mine have been unlucky. You, bro, you, I don't want to hear that crap. Man bro, said, you, unlucky. You, bro, you Man said unlucky. Yeah, bro, we, both grown, we both grown, fam. We both grown. You turn up to the barbecue. Grown adults, container, fam. Bro. You turn up to the barbecue with containers. I asked if I can take a plate. Oh, uh, yes, <laughs> you did. Is that what we did? Is that what we did? If and we go back and, and watch the plate. tapes, oh, man, yeah? you, you know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I probably won't have to do this. You know? Listen, I said Matt turns up with a rock sound, but I'm like, what's in the bag, bro? I've never done that to any of you man's event. That's the joke. No, That's it's never joke. been a rock sack. I've never, I've never done that to anyone's thing. I mean, if you man bought a rock sack to anyone else's event, no, no I, I keep containers in both cars, though. That's what I. Is it? So you're always, so you're always yeah. on standby for that. Yeah, for that. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you yeah. don't see me do them things there, but apparently I'm the worst. I, I'll leave it there. You, but you'll wrap up a cling film around the plate bro. quick, though, no. Don't lie. If someone's got the bottle <laughs> container, that's their business. <laughs> That's not my business. You all wrap up. If someone's got their own container, I said, yo, bro, you got a container. It's calm, in it? But I remember, bro, shout out to you, bro. I remember when I come to, I think it might have been one of the kids' functions, bro. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. You you sent me home with a plate, bro. It took me about eight minutes to get the clean Of course, man, you get what I'm saying? As I know you're pro in this thing, bro. Nothing (laughs) used out, bro. (laughs) I'm not even the curry curry goat gravy moved. (laughs) (laughs) I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, yeah, you, you got, you got, you got the thing there still. But um, shout out to John Conway's gifted five membership. That's another that. from John. Big up, John. John's the, bruv, we know what John is, man. A legend, a legend, a legend. <clears throat> Pearson said that's not a diss. He's an R&B singer, guys. I promise. He looks just like Drifty. Um, look him up, guys. I'm gonna look him up. No, Peterson, I, knew, I knew you weren't dissing. He doesn't look like me. He doesn't. But but he's a good looking guy, so I don't take it as a diss. You know, but yeah, I, 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 I don't said I'm like, like Chizori, you know. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> oh, Bro. I'm never going to say that because Chizori, if, if he yeah, sees Yeah, bro, bro, if Chizori sees this, bro, he will Yeah, up. that's why I ain't saying that. But I'm not yeah, built like Chizori. Yeah, 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 I can yeah. guarantee you. Um, the hers man says, You guys don't know about Kenny uh Latin more, you guys are babies. Drift, look at a younger picture of Kenny, maybe you'll see some resemblance. Can anyone name me any songs? I don't know because I'm an R and B guy, unless I've heard his songs, I just don't know it's him. Mm. Um, lip vibe says, Have you noticed we are more balanced with Gomez or Simi as a left back? The pace and power thing is not working anymore for Robo, it's time to. Go. I'm gonna actually do a members video on Robo. So yeah, I'm not gonna give away too much. I'm gonna do a members video on Robo. Let me just share this real quick because I, I I don't think I know everyone's gonna be like, Robo, I just, just look like this guy. And I, again, I know Peterson weren't dissing, but a young picture though, a young picture. I, I I don't think I look like him. There's a slight resemblance, especially with that pose. That's your pose still. It is my pose. But uh, I don't, I don't see I, not, it. I see I don't. Slight personally. I don't. But you know what? I don't see it, but it's I, a good looking I, guy, bro. You are yeah, right, that's bro. what I'm saying. It's no, yeah. I, I'm not taking no shade. I know it bro, was I've been no called some stuff on there, bro. That I don't want <laughs> <laughs> to be fair. He's better looking than me, bro. So it ain't no shade at all, bro. Yeah, I but get disrespected. It is time, what it is. No, what it is. Bro. I'm saying. Um, Jamie says, Drift, at least you don't look like steep. I get that all the time. Yeah, he does. Literally. Jay does. <laughs> he actually does. That's mad. Now that you said, I mean, yeah, he does. Uh, he people does, leave does. comments on my on my videos and be like, I didn't know you got steep, eh? You got <laughs> steep on the channel. <laughs> we got Jamie. We got Luke. Uh, Kai says, the Arsenal match was the only time we let in two or more goals in the league this season. Facts. Right. Is that true? Yeah. 
See, but Cal Hudson, there it starts. Cal Hudson, the doy, Cal Neone. Yeah, but <laughs> <clears throat> no, you definitely don't look like Neone. No, you don't. You definitely don't. Of course, I don't, bro. I'm gonna yeah. have to check out this um Kenny's music though, because the people are saying that he's a he's a good musician. I'm gonna have to check it out. Look, bro, Cal <laughs> Welbeck, Callum Welbeck, bro. You look a bit like Welbeck. I, I don't look anything like Welbeck, bro. You're Dude, racist, fam. bro. <laughs> You're racist, bro. Bro, you look like Danny Welbs. No, I Welbs. don't, bro. You just dark skin. You do though, no. <laughs> yeah, then, do. The sassy. Starry, I look no, nothing like nah, Starry. nah. This, we this sassy, like, maybe I, a little bit, little nothing bit like these people. Maybe Cal Vinicius, Jew, bro. I look nothing like these people. I say Cal Abraham, you know. I'm just, oh, wow, Alanga. So basically, anyone dark skin, Tomori, more than an inch of hair is who I look like. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, bro. I look, I look like a, a young Chris Tucker, Rudiger, Rudiger. Man said Rudiger, you know. Man said Marcus Sanderson. <laughs> <laughs> That's a disrespect. Because you do not look, you do not look like the good dinosaur. That's a disrespect. I man calling you. Callum Demba Cisse, you know. <laughs> that says Ja Rule. Someone just put <laughs> Ja Rule in the chat. Nah, the man never just saying anything yeah. now, still. That's it, Marvin Sordell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they Papa, didn't say Papa anything Fiat. now. That's man are saying bro, things bro. like Mark Kemry and Ben Teke, and it don't even make sense, bro. <laughs> it's ridiculous, man. It's ridiculous. Do you know what's the biggest disrespect you can ever, t you can ever say to someone? That your face looks like a build character from Pro. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Which Pro? pro. It don't matter, bro. Yeah, any Pro. If you it like don't matter, face, bro. Over. If you've got a build Board face. face, is so, bro. <laughs> yes, yeah, mad. Man said, Young Booker T, Wam, Wan Bissaka. Wow, Young Booker. See, people are doing too much. John said, I look like I Mr. Look like TR18. A scrawny Akin Fenway, you know, a scrawny Akin Fenway. That's mad, still. Yeah, it's mad. He said Abu Diaby. Wow. Abu <laughs> Diaby. You look, man. You look maybe sick sometimes. <laughs> Bunch of racist. You be your own people, innit? Always be your own people, innit? <laughs> Always. Always be your own people, bro. And now, uh, people, before we sign off, you know what we're going to ask. The likes, guys, please let's get to 1,000 likes on this video. Let's see how much we're I don't think we're asking for a lot. Can we get to 1,000, please, guys? We're on 744 at the moment, guys. Yeah, we can do that. We can do we that. Can we do can do better than that, bro. We can do better than that. Absolutely. Come on, people. We can absolutely do that. By the way, I'd just like to ask you boys quickly before we go how right was I about Amrabat? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I was completely wrong about him. Although I can't even I remember, do, I don't even think I wanted him in the end. But I do think he'd be better at Liverpool than trash. what he's been at Man United. Maybe, but <clears throat> yeah. Can I also really can, can I also ask you a little quick question? And we don't have to dwell on it for long because I know we're trying to wrap up. What did you lot think of the rumors of the managerial transfer window? The same way the players transfer. No, it's pathetic. The what? You, you, so you wouldn't be up for it? You don't, no, you don't no. That man it, basically, man, managers can only move during the transfer windows, like players. Yeah, that's just, that's just no. stupid. That's so what? you can only you can only get rid of a manager during the man, during no, the manager that's, window. It's no. just stupid. You know you what can, it is? They they're bored. They got you know they know yeah, the, you know the yeah. Simbin thing. You know they've already got rid of it already. They're not gonna. Yeah, 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 yeah. But they're bored. Someone's no, bored. But, you, home, you, like, but do you not think? Do you not think the method to to the madness would be that managers? Aren't no. just being like undermined, so to speak, no. by like knowing at any moment they could be gone. Where you know, no. like, all right, look, I'm not saying it would be a good idea, but what I do agree with that would happen in it is that players wouldn't be too down tooling deliberately the way a lot of players 
do, thinking, let's just get this manager out. Because if they know he can't be moved out, then they can't do that. Because you do see a lot of times when players are deliberately not playing because they just, just want the manager. For longer, Drew. They'll just down tool for longer. No, I don't think they would because if they know that it could wreck everything, I don't think they would down tool. They do it knowing in a couple of games, man will be gone. If they knew it was like going to be like four months until the manager could leave, I don't think they would down but, they yeah. definitely would drift. Not just that as well. If a player is bad and you want a player sold, you can just drop a player. You can't drop the manager. Oh, I'm not saying that I think it's a good idea. I'm just saying I get the method to the madness a little bit. But yeah. Mm. Uh, that'd be wild, man. That would be wild. That'd be I mean, crazy. The possibility they're happens. kind of thinking about it, guys. So the Herzman says for you. By Kenny Lattimore was huge in the late 80s and 90s. He has hits and more hits. Check him out. Pause. I might do that. I might add that to the playlist still. Now add that to the playlist. Chante Moore, he was married to, um, I think he said, back in the day. Um, oh, wow. Sadiq was saying he was married to Chante. I know who Chante Moore is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We all did. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Um, H says, Scam Rabat bought a hairless dog and named it me. <laughs> Man says, <sighs> oh. You're going to name a dog me. <laughs> oh, man. Um, Jamrock says, How good bad has Gavardio been? Has the price tag been justified? He's not been great this season. No, nah, he's been he's to been be fair, right, though, guys. Yeah. The man's been played at left back, and he, you know, he weren't thinking yeah. he was going to play left back when he no, went. 100, 100, 100. He's actually, back, I, I actually think he's been brilliant for a new signing playing in a wrong role. I wouldn't say if brilliant that, if that makes sense. No, because I'm just thinking, like, if you're if you're one of the world's best young centre backs, and you go to a team and then they play you at left back, and you're still performing well, maybe not to the level you were as a centre back, but you are still performing well. I think you're doing a good job. I do. I think he's been good. I think he's still been a little underwhelming, though. But in a bad, in totally foreign role, so to speak, though, isn't it? When you think, like, mm -hmm. playing in the new system as a left back in a back four, it is a bit mad, but. Yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. It's just making sure. <clears throat> yeah, I agree. I agree. I think he'll be very good next season. I almost forgot they had him. You know, so I did I, bro. <laughs> but that's because they got that like, six centre backs, bro. Yeah, for real. Oh, the people are saying you better stay away from Kenny. Still, who? Kenny Lattimore. Why is that? Yeah, because you know what happens when you listen to his music. Oh. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe I won't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe I won't. Uh, when we win the quad, you knows what's going to happen, bro. <laughs> <laughs> four trophies, four kids. I do, in it? <laughs> Massive quad incoming. <laughs> there you go. You heard it here first, people. Exclusive. I'm, exclusive. I'm, 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 joking. I'm joking. Exclusive. On sure, oh, the bro? internet forever, you said it now, bro. I'll clip this out, bro. <laughs> <laughs> clip it out. Make no. it happen, bro. Is no, it? bro. Don't tell me about make it happen, bro. I'm on my face. <laughs> I said, no, no, no. We ain't doing that. No, no. You'll, you'll, be, no, fine. you'll be fine financially. I'm about to secure the bag. I've got the the, the, the YouTube event of the of the year nearly lined up. Who are you fighting? Yeah, we'll be good. <laughs> no, who are you fighting? We'll be good. Who you fight? You gonna fight your twin brother, Andrew Tate? Oh, that's what I'm you find. Like, Andrew would f you up. You, bro. you, <laughs> you think I want to get smoked on camera, bro? You're yeah, fact, I, know, I, I thought of the, I thought of it as like, what? What? I've, 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 I've almost well, the I've egos almost, will I've, fight. Drift versus and his brother Andrew Tate. That's like, what you, I'm saying. You, you versus your twin. It's almost lined up. No, you versus Andrew Tate, fam. It's almost Dude, Woodley. Lined. I'm done. Yeah, Matt Woodley, bro. I've nearly got it done, oh, bro. Man. <laughs> you and Tate is a bigger, is a bigger. All, 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 all Matt has to do, crowd. all Matt has to do, is agree to forty sixty split, and we're good. Bro, you versus Tate would be like, trust me, surpass me, Woodley, bro. Trust. 
You invest. Know, you bro. versus Tate. So am I just training both then? Because I'm not fighting anyone. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. Matt, Matt, Matt will probably need you to train because we're not going to get. Jeff will need that help. He needs to work on the on the ground game in them team there. So <laughs> who are you fighting, Drew? Tate, Andrew Tate, your I brother. I'm fighting nobody, bro. So what? We you just send him. What we sending The only thing there, that yeah? I'm fighting is demons, bro. <laughs> 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 bro, all I'm saying is, you see me, I ain't getting in the ring. You must be a mud. Now I'm telling you, Jefferson Andrew Tate makes sense though. Yeah, it makes sense to who? To you? No, I'm saying that both. Like he makes races, well, not it? Mix. Uh, he, he's up here good. and I'm down here. Whereas with you and Woodley, you're like level pegging, bro. We're level pegging. Yeah, bro. What? Level. Level. Yeah. With like what? their level of stardom and everything, it's very level. Like Tate's up here and I'm down here, bro. But you and Woodley level like... of stardom is level. Yeah, bro. Very... I pray to yeah. God Woodley don't see this, bro. No, yeah, because he's gonna want to fight you for he saying that. Fight you, bro. Woodley would fight you for saying that. He'll Woodley be like, what are about, about this? Man? We're in negotiations. He'll be like, what are you talking about? Willing man? to take that 40 60 split. We got this, we got this on and pop. He said, What are you talking about? That's what Woodley was saying. But we'll be fine. So don't worry about financials, Kel. We got the back. Oh, sorry, on. people are going one better. They're saying Sean Strickland versus Drift. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I'm not gonna mm. lie, fam. Even if you dash in the tower, man's still gonna hit you. <laughs> man's still gonna punch exactly. you. Exactly. <laughs> My guys are wronging, you know. Yeah, we'd have we'd no. literally have to rush Strickland and then run out the gym, bro. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, on we'd have mad to be old school. We'd have to rush him real quick, and then everyone has to dance. <laughs> the people are going mad. They're saying Drift versus Adesanya, Cow versus O'Malley. Oh, Adesanya would be bad. O'Malley would be really bad for me, but Adesanya would be really bad for you. Well, Cal said he's got a chance against O'Malley. O'Malley no, I didn't. Him. Don't do that, man. I didn't say that. <laughs> well, I'm just saying. <laughs> No, I did not say You're it. You're making no. it sound like Adesanya would be no, worse. No, I was just saying, just like, like double the weight of Sean O'Malley, isn't it? Like, but I'm just saying, but listen. It's Mark, how does think he's got a chance against no, O'Malley? No, 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 I don't. No, I don't. Uh, Matt said, said I would have the advantage in no, the weight class. Bro, no, cow. I said Adesanya is double the weight no, of you. Bro, no, show that, bro. That's big up the still. chest, bro. Big up yeah, your chest. That confidence bro. is kind of confidence. Mad. That, that confidence is, 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 is good to no, have confidence. You man, man need to stop doing this. If I'm at events with these lot and anything gets kicked up, bro, I'm gonna have to answer <laughs> that to their in their fate. Like, I don't want to be going viral for the wrong reasons because I'm stuck. I say like, boxing gloves 50 50. You know, that's crazy. That's no, crazy. That still. Wild, still. That's crazy. Still, man's not I'm, rating I'm, my I'm, man. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'll run from a UFC fighter, but I'll drop the camera and the mic and I'll run. <laughs> from the I ain't got too much pride, bro. Oh, so you wouldn't well, run from run, David run Haney to get, or run to get the club. You wouldn't run, run from Haney get... or Tank. You're saying that you have a chance. You I don't, run. I'm never gonna interview those guys. So I don't you know, know. I'm just asking a question. You say you wouldn't run though. I guess you wouldn't run from Tank. Uh... I doubt Tank, Tank would have. He wouldn't have a reason to chase me. Right, but you hear me? Just he he I feel like the bear kind of wants to say more. I, I, I'm, 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 I'm going to translate for the people in the back. He just said in an octagon, he takes Tank. No, I no, no I didn't. Still. No, let's. Man said he feels up, confident. Man. No, 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 man I said he feels confident. Feel mad still. And he said, man said he wouldn't have a reason to chase me. Man said he's confident. Why? He said Haney wouldn't chase me. He'd, if, he, he's smarter than that. That's mad still. You lot doing the most still. If I get beaten up, it's on you. <laughs> if I'm drinking soup for a straw, that's on you lot. Yeah, remember that. Nah, this one's the maddest one. Cal versus yeah. Chris Cyborg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not taking that fight either. I haven't I ain't seen her for a while. I've seen her for a minute as well. He's in PFL. Oh, oh. she's in PFL? No, okay. Yeah, I haven't seen her for ages. <clears throat> Still punching people up. Yeah, no, no doubt, bro. Yeah, I'm she, not surprised man. at that. <clears throat> yeah, I ain't fighting no one who's got training. I ain't doing it unless it's life and death. Let's call it a day there before you actually get me involved into a problem I don't want to be in. People. It's been a good show, man. Yeah, Great bad show. ending though. Bad ending. Great show. <laughs> bad ending. And I said you lot are gonna have to answer to Iron and the kids if I'm in the hospital, innit? <laughs> Callum, yeah? Yeah, who's asking? 
I watched that episode of Copy. You can take me, yeah? No, no, I can't. What's the last thing you remember, Callum? Oh, man. I don't remember, <laughs> <laughs> remember anything. <laughs> no, big up you, look. But now, people, if you haven't already, smash that like button. We're going to be back tomorrow at some point for the preview for Sparta Prague. So make sure you look out for that. Um, and yeah, switch on that notification bell. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Um, we'll send you flowers, bro. That's deep. That's crazy. <laughs> that is deep. That is crazy. Because I'm always asking for flowers when I get stuff right. Yeah, you're going to send me flowers and I'll be done for you. You never yeah, understand if you on these channels change. <laughs> Imran, uh, me and Misha Tate can't be in the ring, has to be a bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my days! <clears throat> oh, guys, make sure you head over to Jamie's channel, he's about to go live now. So, make sure you head Indeed. over to Jamie's channel, people. Go over there right now, people. Um, oh, that's yeah. savage. Man just said, Cow will miss you, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy that's I'm not going to lie that is a that is a, that is a saying, man. I can't even beat hay fever how am I meant to beat these lot <laughs> like, I can't beat hay fever uh, man said hay fever you know? oh man <laughs> yeah, there's no defence against hay fever still <laughs> I'm not going to lie hay fever always wins you know I can't even run he does. H, H, H is the house always wins. Fitting, isn't it? The house always wins. H always wins. All right. But people, no, it's been a blessed, blessed show. Hope you guys enjoyed it as much as we did. Make sure you switch on that notification bell. Until we see you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> it's, got, it's got to be the fizzy one. That's oh the one uh, everybody knows when you're <laughs> ill and you're not well. You get brought the original Lucasade. The original with the big ball. The mad, yeah, yeah, the mad fizz, bro. That one is horrific, you know. <laughs> that Lucasade sits in your chest, bro. That it's is like, horrific. Oh, that, that, that that just, like, one. just gave me a throwback to the 90s so yeah. badly. Oh, my days. Oh, oh man. man. You know, people, it's been an absolute pleasure. If you haven't already, smash that like button. Head over to Jamie's channel now, people. Until we see you next time, stay safe, stay blessed. The cops are out, people. Take care. Peace. Love.